And we are live. What's up, guys? Welcome to Fresh Air Podcast, man. It is the After Hours Edition with some lovely ladies. Let's get into it. Let's go. Go. Put your shoes on outside. You don't got to put them on in here. All right, we're back. What's up, guys? <laughs> Welcome to the Fresh Fit Podcast, man. Uh, after hours edition. Um, quick announcement we get into the show. Number one, rumble.com slash fresh fit. Check us out over there, guys. If we ever get canceled, you know exactly where to find us. Rumble.com slash fresh and fit. That is the home base to check us out on. Um, bear with me, guys. I got a new mic here. So we uh, Mo's going to be calibrating it live, real time. So if you hear my voice fluctuate throughout the show, um, just bear with me here because this is the first time that I'm talking into it live on air. So Mo's adjusting it as we speak. That shit is huge, bro. Yeah, yeah, it sounds good though so far though. Hopefully, so it is what it is. Um, what kind of mic is that? Also, it's huge. It's a telefunken. You trying to? I tell her what? Okay, hey, don't worry about it. Man. Man. <laughs> don't worry said. about it. Stunning on the haters, man. Yeah, yeah. So you guys know we always invest right back into into the biz and trying to give y'all the best, um, you know, audio quality and best show that we can. Um, so anyway, um, yeah, Roman.com slash FreshFit, CouncilClub.tv, guys. You guys know that's um, where you can get all the behind the scenes stuff, like um, IRL streams. Uh, crazy stuff that's you know we might not necessarily put on YouTube. Um, also check us out over there to get the um, God damn it uh, behind the scenes stuff as far as like before the streams. Yeah, and um, Frank Castles. There you go. So CastleClub.tv, and then also guys um, check me out on Twitter UnpluggedFitX. As you guys know, I post on there. Uh, you know, pretty much two to three times a day. And uh, yeah, man, I'm going crazy on there. Let's get it to 100k. Damn, it's still up. It, yeah, it's still up somehow. Damn. It is still I there. I got banned the first day. <laughs> But after that, I learned my lesson, and uh, I'm good now. So it's still some, somehow Stupid. a shout out to Elon, man. <laughs> so, and we Stupid. forgot to mention, guys, you wanted oh. the first day of Blueprint. Here it is, guys. Here's the link, actually, on the screen. I'll uh, post it in the chat. So if you want to get laid on the first date, here's the full Blueprint, how to, how to do it. From A to Z, we got you guys, man. Zoom call, mm. all, full effect. Go check it Interesting. out. Interesting. And then I'm back to doing vlogs, man. Uh, recently, you know, I copped the SV, uh, my dream Ooh. car. But... Someone hit the car actually. Ooh. So I'm gonna show you guys the vlog. Bruh. It was crazy what happened though. Um, wow. Coming up uh, tomorrow. Did you cry? Nigga, I was so mad. But when I saw who, who hit me, I, I couldn't get mad, bro. What kind of car did they have? Wait, who was Wait, it? Was it, it grandma? They, had, they had a Volvo actually. Okay, Volvo? I mean that's. <sighs> it was terrible. Anyhow, uh, was it a girl fresh? No, nah, it was a, a F word. <laughs> if you know what I mean. Can't say it on YouTube, but hey. <laughs> Yeah, I think this is karma for yeah. saying it so many times, but yeah. it's, probably, yeah, it's probably karma. Anyway, it's fine. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, lifestyle vlogs, and then uh, guys doing the oh. CEO network, more <laughs> added value, masterminds, and meetups. So go check it out. Uh, let's go. Yeah. Cool. Um, so yeah, I think. Oh, and then also, guys, we got an email, a new email address. If you guys want to go ahead yeah. and reach out to us, whether it's for a consultation or some other type of business inquiry, it's f n f reach right i c at, at gmail dot com f and then N as in November, F reach, reach at yeah. gmail.com. Okay. Fox November, Fox reach, uh, Romeo Echo Alpha <laughs> Charlie Hotel. There you go. At gmail.com. All right. So, yeah, because people are going to misspell it. <laughs> what? Reach with two E's? No, R E A C H. So, there you go. Um, and then Chris. Yeah, Chris. Yes. Um, chat. We got seven new girls on the panel. <laughs> I've oh, never seen someone <laughs> appraise himself so great for doing their job, bro. <laughs> <laughs> wow. On the Monday. Yeah. So, so, uh, <laughs> <laughs> ladies, give me the Aaron C. Poxon on IG. Make sure if you want to come to a show, priority comes to new girls only. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. What's up, yeah. nigga? The audience has to cheer, you know. Oh, you're on the couch, right? Yo, yo, audience, are you cheering on the couch back home? Let me know. Anyways, uh, ladies, see me if you want to come on to the show and let's make it happen. This is the I love the niggas in the back hyping you up. Hey, man. I'll give you this though. You brought Ice Spice, so shout out to you, bro. Okay, but without further ado, if you guys don't mind, uh, give us your name, your age, what you do for a living, dating status, and if you want to, of course, your body count. And we're going to start with Ice Spice. 
are we doing that? Mm-hmm. Okay. You can start. Okay, hi, I'm Ice Spice from Wish. I'm kidding. I'm Jasmine. <laughs> I'm Jasmine. It's Jasmine. How old are you? I am 27. Where and from? I am from South Miami. Okay. Um, and I currently, I used to be a third grade teacher. Then I was an art teacher. Like and Chris. Hey. That's to art too. Yeah. Hey. Oh, and wow. now I work in retail. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay. And then what's your highest education level completed? I dropped out of graduate school. Okay. So you have a bachelor's in what? Fashion merchandising. Okay. Yeah. Where'd you get it from? Lane University in Boca Raton. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. And then, uh, what's your relationship status? Single and ready to mingle. Ooh. <laughs> well, actually, she's a crush on Mo. I already have Mo. Oh, yeah? Mo, <laughs> yeah. Mo is on my radar. Mo's on my radar. He's a cutie with a pretty <laughs> smile. I'm a sucker okay. for good oh, teeth. Oh, he's smiling. I love it. I'm a sucker for good teeth. We got what do you like most about Mo, uh, Mo? His smile? His smile. And also, he's just like a little teddy bear. His face. Hey, little. Hey, well, you know, what part is little? Hey, Mo. <laughs> <laughs> hey, by the way, Mo loves his using his mouth, by the way. <laughs> oh, oh, he's, 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 he's a <laughs> that boy can eat some food. Oh, man. Let him eat. He's a munch. 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 What's up, buddy? Right, Mokula. No. Mokula. It has to be well done. It, no. it was only one time. I just wasn't mad. Oh, <laughs> one All right. time. All um, right. Okay. Are your parents still together? Yes, sir. They're about to be 30 years married in January. Okay. Cool. Oh. All right. Um, uh, wait. So tell me, um, why did you say fuck them kids and went to retail? <laughs> oh, oh, wow. First of all, wow. they're still my children. Secondly, it was my parents' business, and I want to create a name for my own. Mm. Okay. Okay. Right. Yeah, I want to create a boutique one day. So. You said it was your parents. Your parents own. A My school? parents own two schools. Oh, are they private schools? Yes, sir. Ah, uh, okay. All right. Um, what about you? Oh, I'm Melanie. What's your name? Okay. I'm 20. <coughs> All right. I'm from here. I was born in Miami, but I was raised in Seattle. Okay. Uh, you went to high school in Seattle? Yeah. Okay. Um, do you live in Seattle now, or do you no, live I here? No, I moved back. You moved back. Okay. What do you do for work? I'm in luxury retail. Okay. Are we talking like Lehman Marcus or Nordstrom like or something? Zax. Like Zax? Okay. Cool. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, do you work in like the corporate side or? No, on the floor? I, yeah, sales okay. associate. Okay. And then uh, what's your highest education level completed? I just did, I just finished high school. High school. Okay. Uh, relationship status? I'm single. All right. And then are your parents still together? No. Okay. When did they divorce? <laughs> um. <laughs> I don't know. You don't know? I don't know. Like, it's were they together for like 10 years? Oh, like no, you were a kid? I was a kid. I was really little. Oh, shit. Okay. All right. Um, What are you wearing? Me? <laughs> not so so mad. What are you doing? You're wearing a dress. You're wearing a dress. You're wearing a dress. Yo, yo, fresh. She's wearing the curtains in the back. Yo, this is the Met Gala. You need to stand up and show the curtains. Yeah, I just stand up. Oh, yeah. Damn, man. Shout out to the curtain. Curtain. Man. <laughs> what brand is that? It's House of CB. Can you I don't know what that, that is. Exactly. Yeah, it's a nice online site. All right. All okay. Right. Fantastic. Uh, what about you? What's your name? My name is Nell Shauna. Nell Shauna? Hey, hey y'all. N E L S H O N N A. Okay. How old are you? 27. Where are you from? Texas. What part of Texas? Um, it's Beaumont. It's like an hour and 30 minutes away from I know Houston. exactly where Beaumont is. Interstate okay. 10, right? Yep. Yep. Oh, wow. All right. Are you from Texas? I lived in Texas for many years. Oh. Uh, okay. Um, it's right outside of Houston. Mm-hmm. Um, going towards, I think, Louisiana. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what do you do for work? I'm a nurse. Okay. Wait, nurse? Person. <laughs> 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 Don't play with it. Uh, uh, it's going on your sleep. This is the way from the computer. <laughs> yeah. What's the highest education level completed? College. Okay. Uh, bachelor's? No. I, I'm a um a LVN. I haven't went. Oh, so you went? Do you? But you got your associates though, right? Yes. Okay. So associates in nursing, I'm assuming. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, and then are your uh, what's your relationship status? I'm in a relationship. Okay. How long y'all been together? Twelve years. Wow. wow. Are you guys engaged? Oh. You engaged? Oh. 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 
a nurse? I'm a nurse. I'm surprised. Well, <laughs> I, I'm proud of you for that. That's, yeah. What, hey, what does he do? Good. I was about to say um, the same he thing. rap. He's an artist. Oh, He's an artist. Oh. Yeah. Oh. And, Wait, and, is, is he doing well? He's up upcoming. Yeah. What's his name? OGD Berry. Ooh. Oh, so he's a nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, come on. His name is OGD Berry, <laughs> man. Come on, man. I saw him downstairs. Um, he had yeah. swag. Oh, he's downstairs? <laughs> oh, oh. He was. Oh, he was. Okay, he was. Legit. He was. <laughs> okay. Uh, and then, are your parents still together? No. No? When did they divorce? They were never married. Um, okay. They split up when I was maybe like, I was little. Okay. Have you met your dad before? Or Yes. Okay. Oh. Uh, are y'all cool? <laughs> yes. Right. We have a good relationship. All right. Um, cool. What about you? What's your name? Uh, my name is hey Renee. I'm, I'm sorry, what's your name? <laughs> Renee. Can, can Renee. you hear me? Okay, I don't know yeah, I got you. Yeah, we got How old are you? I am 24. Where are you from? I'm from Houston. Okay. Oh, you guys okay. know each other? No, no, no we don't no. know each other. Oh, because you guys are neighbors. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was okay. asking. Uh, and then, uh, what do you do for work? Uh, I work in tech on the HR side, so I hire like software engineers, product managers. Okay. Um, highest education level completed? Bachelors. In? Uh, global management from Arizona State online. Okay, Sun Devils, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, Arizona State. All right, and then uh, relationship status? Single. All right. Uh, are your parents still together? Uh, my dad died when he was in 2016, and my they were married. Okay. Yeah, my so condolences. A, a widow. Yeah. Your your mom is widowed. Okay. Yeah. Um, my condolences for that. Uh, okay, and then um, yeah, I think we're yeah. What about you? My name is Sky. Sky, you said? Mm -hmm. Okay. How old are you, Sky? I'm 18. Oh, shit. Right. <laughs> uh, Woody, where are you from? I'm from Fort Myers. That's like two hours away from here. Oh, yeah. We know where Fort <laughs> Myers is. there, bro? <laughs> Just nothing nowhere. up there. Yeah. Nothing, bro. <laughs> uh, okay, what do, you, uh, what do you do for work? Um, I don't, I don't really work. I'm in school. Okay. In college? Yeah, I'm a junior right now. In college? Mm-hmm. Dual enrollment. I tested out of high school and then Okay, I was literally yeah. going to say, like, did you take AP class in high school or what? Like, how'd you? I So what they did, the criteria was, like, you take a test. It's all the high, the high school curriculum. You test out of it. And then I just started college. Okay, so you were so you were, you, you were going to school, like, physically high yeah, school. Yeah, at 16 And then while I simultaneously started, going no, to college. No, I, I was full-time college. I tested out of high school. Okay, so you were just going straight to college at 16? Yes. Okay. Uh... So you're in college now, um, and you said you're a junior. Yes. Okay. Interesting. They let you test out of high school? That's yeah. crazy. I mean, it's the American school system. Yeah. It's not like it's crazy. Yeah. yeah. All right. Fair enough. Uh, not, not an island, they, bro. They, they would let it. I mean, things bro, you change or something. It. Like, goddamn. Yeah. Uh, well, to, well, to be fair, the curriculum is trash anyway, so <laughs> <laughs> you're not really getting much anyway. Uh, the, right, it's up to you. Do you want to drop where you go to college or no? Yeah, I go to FGCU. Was it FD what? FGCU FG. in Fort Myers. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what that is. I'm just there for my bachelor's, okay? Uh, what are you majoring in? I'm pre-law. Okay. Ooh. All right. And then... This is impressive. It's the for me. Ooh. He's telling you. He's telling you too much. It's the wing. He's telling you. I guess you guys like the sound effects. You've never seen a girl so appreciative of the sound effects. Yeah, bro. I appreciate his smile. All right. What is your relationship status? I'm single. All right. And then, are your parents still together? They are. Okay. How long have they been together? Um, it will be 23, 23, 24 yeah, years this December. Wow, cool. beautiful. Yeah, right. that's, that's a good congrats to that. Yeah, right. congrats to them. Uh, cool. What about you? What's your name? I'm Maria Alejandra. Okay. It's going to take me a minute to write that. <laughs> you just love <laughs> Maria. All right. All right, Maria Alejandra. How old are you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm 25. Where are you from? Um, I have a bit of a long story. So I'm Colombian, but I grew up in Miami, but I moved to Spain when I was 20. Okay. Where'd you go to high school? I went to high school in Doral, Doral Academy. <laughs> okay. Yes. Um, but you're Colombian. You grew up in Miami. Yes. Okay. And, and then went, you said you lived in Spain for a while? I went to university in Spain, yes. Okay. In Pamplona, Spain. Right. Shout out to Pamplona. Okay. Um, what do you do for work? I have a, my own business in tourism and events in Barcelona. Okay. Do you live here or do you live in Spain? Um, both. My parents live here, so I come back and forth visiting my parents, and then I live in Barcelona full time. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um... Uh, so you have a tourism business, you said, right? Yes, I do. Highest education level, you said you have a bachelor's? I have a bachelor's, and I'll go into a master's in a bit, yeah. Okay, what do you have your bachelor's in? 
en marketing and business. Okay, where'd you get it from? Uh, Universidad de Navarra en Pamplona, España. Okay. <laughs> you, got, you got to spell that out for you. Right. 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 Top university in Spain. Okay, and then what's your, um, uh, are your parents still together? Um, they're not, but they're really good at co-parenting since I was little. Okay, so mm -hmm. divorced. How long have yes. they been divorced? Um, since I was 10, so 15 years. Okay, so 15 years. All I have right. a stepdad too, he's really good. Okay, yeah. all right. And uh, body count? <gasps> Um, don't wait, are, are we don't doing those questions? I plead the fifth. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Are we asking buddy? <laughs> I'm not gonna say. Yeah. Chris, you, you just him. have to lie. You want to answer say it? Three. No. Lie, say three. Zero. Oh, I'm a virgin. <laughs> I'm a virgin. Yeah, okay. Uh, what about you? What's your name? Uh, my name is Paris. Paris, yep. okay. An Asian girl named Paris. I've no, seen no. it all. Wait, 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 wait. You're kidding me. <laughs> For real? No, that, that's your real name? Uh, no. It's Ling Ling. Oh, oh my god! god. <laughs> Alright, how old are you? Yo. Uh, so 32. 32, you said? Wait, yes. 32? Okay. Yeah. Well, <laughs> where are you originally from? Uh, China. Oh, shit. Okay. Konnichiwa. What part of China are you from? Uh, Konnichiwa that's is Japanese. actually Japan. That's, yeah. that's Japanese. That's Japanese. That's Japanese. That's Japanese. Why, Chris? I gotta give it to Chris. Chris. It's a joke, man. It's Chris. Joke. Uh, you said you're from China. What part of China are you from? Xinjiang. Xinjiang. Where's that at? Uh, it's in north and west. Huh? Okay, no northwest China? Yes, uh, close to Russia, Kazakhstan, and uh, uh, Pakistan. I was just going to okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, it, it, do, do a lot of Chinese up there speak Russian too? Not really. No? No, they speak language like a uh, Weber language. It's more like a uh, Turkish. Okay, mm. okay. Mm. Um, mm. All right, what do you do for work? Uh, I was a journalist before for car racing event like a Formula Three, the car, this kind of car racing event. Okay. But now I'm just a housewife. Okay. Oh, you're married. Okay. 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 Oh, oh, she's she's become doctor. All right, so uh, <laughs> you're you're a former journalist, but you're a housewife now. Okay, uh, when you did journalism, was it in Chinese media or American media? Uh, it's a uh, Asian media. Asian media, but but uh, like also international because we do Dakar and we cover the and the Silk Way Rally and the F Formula Three Asian mm. Championship. It's like uh, international kind of. Oh wow! Is it like F one? Uh, no, it's uh, lower than F one. Oh, Lauren F1. Yes. Okay. Okay, so you covered sports, it seems like to me. Uh, yes, extreme sports. S specifically. Okay. Yeah. All right. Oh. All right. Um, so you were like a sports journalist. Yes. You covered sports. Okay. All right. Uh, what is your highest education level completed? Uh, I studied public administration and I got a management bachelor degree. Okay. Is that the, like a bachelor's degree in America? Uh, like yes. four years? Yes. Uh, equivalent. Okay. And what did you study again? Public administration. Oh, public administration. Okay. Yeah. Okay, and then uh, you're in a relationship, right? Uh, married. Married, okay. How long have you been together? Uh, five years. Okay. Nice. Is he Chinese too? Or is uh, he? No, he's Ukrainian. Oh! Oh, oh shit. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Was he, he's Ukrainian. Was he living here before the conflict? or? Uh, no, we was living in China before, and because it's a Russian Ukrainian war, so we moved you here. You left? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh. All right. Mm. Um, so you guys were living. Where, so you guys were living in China before. Did he, was he there like on business or? Uh, yes. Okay. What does he do? Modeling. Come okay. on. Oh. 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 Yeah, he's really oh. handsome. Yeah. Okay. So, so he's, he's he was a modeling in China. You guys <laughs> yeah. were living together. Yes. And then when the conflict happened, you guys came to the United States. Yes. No, he was That's out dope. Of there. He was out of there. That That's dope. Okay. Right. I'm too pretty to fight war. Is he like a Ukrainian citizen, or is he? Does he have Chinese citizenship, or what does uh, he have? No, he's Ukrainian ci 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 citizenship. Because Chinese citizenship is really hard to get. Yes, I was gonna say. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yo, I love China, man. He got lucky, man, because that's, <laughs> China's I mean, amazing. Luckily, he was, if he was, if you guys were in Ukraine, they wouldn't have let him, let him yeah, left. Yeah, yeah. I know. Wow. Okay. Yeah, um, I went to China last weekend, if you know what I mean. Wow. Did you go? Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Are you serious right now? What? <laughs> what? I don't he went to Chinatown. He didn't go to China. <laughs> oh, I went to China, right? Uh, are your parents uh, still together? Uh, divorced two years ago. <laughs> that's why I'm trying to be with okay. you. Okay. You said divorced two years ago? Yes. Okay, but they were together your whole life, pretty much. Uh, yes. Okay. All right. All right. Um, what is this? Yo, this is crazy, yo, bro. Y'all see that? I see a mo look at her. You see that mo? It's like a wink wink and a... Oh. <laughs> look at that. 
Okay. It's our call. Get a room, bro. God, God, I'm going to take you to Crumble Cookies Yo, soon. Yo, W more ribs, bro. Okay. W Crumble uh, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> All right. All right, we got to... Uh, okay. so we can read some of these chats, uh, yeah. and then uh, and then we'll get into the first question. Uh, fr fresh, you got questions, right? Yeah, I do. Okay. Um, um, so we got here... Question for the ladies. What was that, Mo? Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, Smooth with it goes. Uh, question for ladies: hundred dollars or one bitcoin? One hundred dollars. Oh, one bitcoin. Oh, sorry, we have to go around. All right. Okay. Which one are you taking? One hundred dollars or one bitcoin? One hundred dollars. Bitcoin. One hundred dollars. Bitcoin. Five years ago, I probably would have taken bitcoin, but it's all gone to shit. Oh, Ooh. So you're taking a. So you're taking a. Uh, I'd rather you're take taking a hundred. Yeah. Okay. I'll take a hundred. Okay. Hundred. Damn. You wow. stupid. Oh, y'all are dumb as hell, man. Yo, a Bitcoin is worth like, what, 30 something thousand? Yes, right now? Yeah, it's going up. Are you serious? It's only going up. Yo, yo, yo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, 41K. Yeah. Listen, yeah. Listen, yeah. listen, yeah. listen yeah. sir. You just said $100 Over to 41K. 41 K. I don't are you crazy right now? I just want to say something. Yo, y'all are wrong. I wasn't educated about it. I didn't even know you thought about it. No, 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 but even at its lowest, it was bruh. worth more than 100 It was 26 times. Yeah. Like, a few even, months ago, it was I mean, 26 bruh. But, but again, do women understand? Bro, we should start doing this with the three, with the three countries thing. Yo, yo, sure. Because that is crazy, bro. Like, but most women don't understand that shit. She yeah. said it loud and proud. $100. $100. <laughs> no, because I don't understand Bitcoin. I don't know. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Ladies, question. So, question. Why didn't you ask how much is a Bitcoin? Because I don't oh, care. Yes, we were given two Chris, options. Chris, that's a good point. Right. Well, why should she even care? I mean, I, she was a teacher point. too. Because that's Excuse a hypothetical. Me. Yeah. But again, uh, once again, women don't care about finances and stuff like no, that. No, that's so. not true. Well, well, generally, generally, I, generally, I don't know about Dave Ramsey. I don't know about Dave Ramsey. Hey, don't know about well, I don't know if we can say that. Sorry. I mean, I used to watch Susie Orman too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> never, never mind. <laughs> can we say that or no? I say what? Dave Ramsey. Can we talk about no, you're yeah, fine. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Um, that's crazy though. But uh, hey, I said it before that like a lot of girls aren't as financially savvy. They just spend money, but they don't necessarily care about making it or investing. Yeah. <laughs> and that's, uh, that's not true. Yeah, no. uh, because my husband he bought Bitcoin and he lost the all. Yes. Mm. I mean, but, he lost all but of it? I bought uh, uh, how to say currency, mm -hmm. and I make money. So mm. if you speak like women cannot make uh, economies and finances, it's not true. I, I didn't, I'm not saying well, all, but I'm saying a good amount of good women amount. don't understand money. I mean, you even said a hundred dollars over a Bitcoin. Yes, because he lost the uh, everything on Bitcoin, so I don't trust did it. Did he invest in Bitcoin? Yeah, he did. When did he buy it? Uh, 2017 or 2018. How much did he pay for it? Sixty thousand. Ooh. Sixty-seven. Bitcoin, Bitcoin wasn't sixty thousand back then. We invest that. What does the wait, wait 60 huh? K? He, he, he 60, invested 60,000. Wait, what, what kind of is it? Dollars? Is uh, no, it like it's a, it's a Chinese are, I don't know yeah. the conversion rate. What All right, can someone rate? check what uh, yeah. the conversion thing is? But yeah, I mean, if he had held it it's and it sold it, RMB. it's it's worth more now. If he had held it, it was worth 26,000 three months ago. Um, I saw um, if, if if he had yeah. held that Bitcoin back in 2017, it would be worth way more now. What did he sell? Because in 2017, Bitcoin was like, like uh, 6K. Because he listened to Elon Musk and uh, he bought the uh, dog. <laughs> he dog bought Shiba. He bought that's Dogecoin. not the same. Oh. That's Dogecoin. Okay. Yeah, Dogecoin. Bro, see, see. Bro, that's not the same. <laughs> Finances. Uh, Finances. You can't buy anything with Dogecoin. You can't buy Bro. anything with, but, but with Bitcoin, Shit. you can. Yeah, I'm like, yo, I have like <laughs> sons off. Yeah, he bought Dogecoin. Yeah, yeah Dogecoin. Dogecoin. That's why. Bitcoin, that's Bitcoin. That's that's Bitcoin. you can actually buy stuff with. Yeah, but like Dogecoin. Okay, so. Bro, oh, come on, man. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, your husband, man. This is not yeah. stupid. This is Money Monday yet? I, I, we might as well. It's uh, just, just turn into that. It's Mo Monday. Mo, Mo, <laughs> Mo Monday. Mo Monday. Yo, I'm supposed <laughs> to be Mo Riz. Uh, okay, <laughs> read the next one. Get some more here. I got the slider back up. Okay, uh, who's next? We got uh, Elvin J says, question for the ladies. All right, well, the girls. When was the last time a man went above and beyond for you, but you still dumped him? What did he do? Ooh, this is a good one. I got this. I got this. Can I start? Can, we'll, we'll, we'll start in here first. Okay. Come oh. on. So the question is, when was the last time a man went above and beyond for you, meaning he did the role for you, but you dumped him anyway? What did he do? Actually, I don't have this kind of experience. Never? <laughs> oh. Is this Ukraine guy your first guy ever? Uh, He's not my first guy, but uh, I dump other men. Not... Yeah, she's been in sports fresh. <laughs> no, no, but the question is, oh, he, he, did, he did things for you, right? Yes. They were really good. Yes. But then you dumped him. Why did you dump him? Uh, emotional break. Emotional break? Yeah. 
was he not who you wanted to be with? Like, what was the issue why you just dumped him? It's like, you know, women may have some uh, hormone levels change every month. And uh, it's like uh, a circle. Like, sometimes you feel really good and sometimes <laughs> you just feel low. Like, uh, but you don't know the reason. And when you feel low, everything for you is, like, wrong. So you felt mm. yeah. low and said, fuck this nigga. Shit. What All about right. you? I feel like that's a very ambiguous question because if he went up, up and above for me and I still dumped him, I feel like it wouldn't be fair if he went up and above him and would have just dumped him. What happened to me last time is that I thought he did, but then, you know, essentially I found out that he just did it to try to get to me, but at the end of the day, he was still interested in other people. And he that's was cheating. Fine. No, he wasn't cheating because we weren't like, you know, proper serious. We never like established any like seriousness. But I think it's unfair to like do these things go above and beyond for me and then at the end of the day not have anything serious uh, for me. So, so did he love bomb you, you think? I don't know if he love bomb me because um, at the end of the day I felt like it was very, you know, uh, what's the word, um, reasonable what mm -hmm. he did for me. We both did nice things for each other. Uh, but at the end of the day I caught him talking to other girls and I mean it's fine if we weren't serious but I told him like this is not cool to me so I was like I don't want to do this anymore so that's what I happened I just mm. didn't want to do it we anymore we still don't know what he did above and beyond though oh uh he uh well he would buy me really nice gifts but also do really nice favors to me and I know the gifts are not everything but it just it's nice it's a nice gesture and I find that to be a nice you know go above and beyond for me so he bought you really expensive gifts no that's not that's not just it because I my love language is to uh give things and be nice. What's the favor he did for you? Um, well, he would just, you know, pick me up and, you know, uh, Wait, pick you up from where? Like <laughs> <laughs> I, I live in I live in Barcelona, so in Spain it's uh, different like uh, people are uh, Europeans are tend to be a little bit more like uh mm -hmm. they don't have like uh, cars because we have public transportation yeah. so he would take the time to pick me up even there is a lot of traffic and so I really appreciate that because he didn't have to do that mm -hmm. and also just treat me nicely enough for me to you know like him a lot so he bought you nice gifts and picked you up but, but you what still kind of gifts him. oh I didn't drop him for that I dropped him because he he's got other women uh, yeah he was uh, interested in other women and I just uh wasn't interested in other men so I didn't want to keep going with that what kind of gifts though it, it doesn't matter. The gifts are irrelevant, really, oh. because anything I could get, like, a little bracelet or like a little cupcake is a gift for me. That's nice. But you enough. said expensive, so that's what like Van Cleef? Oh, no, no, no. Oh. You got me like, a, a nice perfume. That's, that's oh. it. It's, oh, okay. The that's... money's not important to okay. me. It's just about the gesture. That's Stop it. The cap. Okay. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but wouldn't, it, but wouldn't it be fair to say that most guys are always going to look at other women and be interested in other women? Absolutely. Yeah, that's 100% true. So true. why'd you get rid of them for that then? Uh, probably an eagle thing. Um, I'll be the first to admit it. You think it. you made a mistake? It was the perfume. Um, <laughs> I don't know how many times. For me? <laughs> um, mm. looking back, I, do you think you made a mistake? Because every other guy's. Oh no, because I I didn't drop him. I told him my boundaries, and I was like, hey, like if you're gonna see other women, I would rather if we use protection, because at the end of the day, I'm also you know going to Miami, and yeah. I don't really, uh, I I'm just not like that. But if anything, I would like to use protection, because of this and that. And then he took it the wrong way. <laughs> So I didn't really drop him. I just told my boundaries and he just didn't reply. So is that my fault? So he ghosted no. you? Oh. I mean, wait, 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 hold on. Wait. You, you were smashing a nigga raw for like, how, how long was it? Months? Oh, it was like just two months. Bruh, and it's a nigga no? You gotta put a condom on? <laughs> you gonna say no. Well, I mean, if you're on, man. Yeah, I mean, you if, you're in in if you're interested in other women, why wouldn't you use a condom if you're gonna, if you're gonna be interested in other women and me at the same time? So you're like okay with it. You just wanted a condom. Yeah. Okay. You didn't say that until I asked. God, well, yeah. that, oh, that's different. No, oh, yeah, the text was just like, hey, like... Uh, so you, didn't drop him. you didn't drop him because he wanted other women. You, He kind of dropped you because you wanted to use protection. <laughs> I didn't... Well, <laughs> See how, like... <laughs> yo, girls just changed the story. Yo. No, but... No, I, 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 I told him the boundaries, and then he didn't say anything, and I was just like, well, I'm not going to keep begging you for my attention, so... Wouldn't that be something me dropping him as well? But, I'm not gonna say, be, hey, not, but it's not, okay. You're not worth the condom. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, that's that's fair. Fair. That man. Wait, that were you guys exclusive? That's just expensive. My nigga said it's a condom, and he just didn't have the ability to contain himself to not use my it. Were said, you guys exclusive when you guys that's started? That's what I said. We never. Yo, my nigga so there said, was never a conversation about like we're gonna see only each other. There was no exclusive. No, but there was a point where I was like, I should get on birth control of anything, and he was like, Yeah, you should. And I feel like that's. In itself implying exclusive that we're be so exclusivity. Oh, oh so, so, so you assumed 
that it was serious about how he's yeah. moving. But that nigga <laughs> said, yo, no conduct. Sorry, I'm out. Right. All right. And I wasn't right. cool with that. So I was like, well, whatever. It is okay. what it is. My nigga said, Rod Lugger till I die. I guess okay. so. I guess so. <laughs> okay. All right, what about, what about you? you? Well, I've only been in like one really serious like relationship, yeah. and I actually broke up with him because he failed to meet my standards. Mm. Oh shit! Yeah. Period. Wait, I'm gonna guess. I believe her. He didn't reach the sky. <laughs> ha ha ha! So funny. Wait, what, what is the sky? <laughs> 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 oh, okay. <laughs> Um, so what, what what did he not accomplish as far as your standard goes? And it, it's not even like about the different gestures he would do, but he was 25 and still living off of his parents' money what? and refused to like do things for himself. And like, I want to be with the man that my kids can look up to and respect, somebody who can hold his own. And he mm. just and I gave him so many chances, but he just kept failing to achieve. Wait, you were anything. 17 and he was 24. What? Oh! The oh! His fault. I lied to him about my age, which is. Oh, what the oh, fuck? Oh, should not be a man. Was he worth it? Was he worth it? See, no. to lie. Giddy up. Man, man. Giddy up. Yeah. Oh saying. my god. <laughs> you get it, Giddy up. Yo, niggas, check IDs, all right? Bro. That's scary. Yeah, okay, I didn't mean to say that. I'm sorry. Here's the scary part. Uh, age, of, age of consent in Florida is 18. It's 16. Romeo and Juliet law. No. Oh, no, 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 no. He can still go to you're, jail. You're, if you're actually. Parents, age no, of consent. No. Of age of consent 16. in Florida is well, 18. No, it's 16 with your parents. It's with, parent, it's with it parental consent. Pull, pull, pull and this Florida up. She's state wrong. law. She's wrong. It's, it's Romeo and Juliet. No, it's 18. Did it recently change? Someone Google it. Someone pull it up. It's 18, and then Romeo and Juliet laws, I think, cover only about three-year difference. So you're wrong. It's four-year difference. Mm -hmm. All right, pull, pull it up. Let's see. She's she's wrong. It's and like it's 100% with... here. No, no, no. It's 16 with parental consent. Bro, you're a liar, Parent man. Parental no, yeah. consent. Pull it up. Oh, yeah. 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 You're a liar. Relationship. Literally. I know this Coming out of one. It's 18. Come on. Pull it up. Pull it up, guys. I'm not going to lie. Y'all deserve each other, man. What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> you lied and he ain't doing Yo, shit. But, man. like, also, I was young and I didn't know a lot of things. So I feel like I kind of just rushed into it. And I was like, it was my first time ever being well, in love. So, like, does he I know wanted, now I didn't... that you were underage? He found, he. Well, that he's not going to know. Yeah. Uh, uh, no, put Age of Consent, Florida. Put Age of Consent, Florida. Romeo and Juliet. No. Okay. The What's the uh? 18 years old. 18. Now. It's 18. So, so it's 18, you're wrong. And then now we're going to go no. into. What? Who said? With no? parental consent. Yeah, with parental consent. Now, gonna, now we're going to go ahead and type in Romeo and Juliet, Florida. <clears throat> because him being 24 and you 17, I think that's a bit too that's much. Like that is scary, yeah, bro. Like uh, 14 to 17. If uh, it allows victim? certain defendants to participate in removal. Uh, the victim four was years. 14 years. Yeah. Victim, bro. The oh, four years? Yeah. Bro, he would have been to jail, went to jail. Well, I didn't press charges. I didn't bring him up. Well, but your I'm parents saying, didn't. Oh, that's yeah. not well, they you. didn't know. There's Holy no, like, bro, you see, you don't know what you're talking about, man. Wow. Like, like, I just told you that I, that I was qualified for the age for a four-year difference. I didn't say what I did was legal. But I'm just, I'm telling you the Romeo and Juliet law. That's scary, man. Bro, she, you're, <laughs> he had to have been 21, see, though. yo, you, you know, what the hell, like, you convincing You guys see how convincing she was on that bullshit, bro. She was fucking lying. Sorry, hundred percent. Wait, you told him you were eighteen? No, it's yo, and and this is why yo, you guys got to check this shit. Yo, you can meet a girl like this and she'll tell you, Adrian said a sixteen. Romeo Juliet loves my parents' consent. Like that's all a bunch of shit. Right now, does it? Eighteen years old is the age of consent, and then it's only a four year gap. Yeah, and he's way older. He was twenty four when we all met. He could he could go to jail for that. Right now, is a basketball player. I think his name is Giddy. Was it? What's his name? Bruh. Josh what the fuck, Giddy, man? Uh, Josh, whatever. Josh Giddy. Josh Giddy. Also, you don't like to admit when you're wrong. I could tell you have a very bad habit yeah. about that. Yeah. No, I you're just told you. You were 1,000% wrong just just now. Just but proven. it was four years. I, I was, was so talking that about the Juliet law. Rewind that. Romeo and Juliet law. Uh, no, but no, she no, no, she said age of consent, was, she said, she said age of consent was 16. I said, no, it's not. It's 18. 16. It's 18. And then the difference between y'all was way too high. I said with parental consent, though. That's what I'm talking about. But did your parents consent to Romeo and Juliet? No, that's not the point. I'm not saying. Romeo is not going to save the dude. He would have went to jail. But I'm not talking about that. That's not the correct if you situation. lied, yeah. and you would put him in jail, I, I just you said that. No. That's just crazy, said that. though. Like, if yeah, you guys were in a car, he, yeah, like, together. But that's what I'm saying. I was a kid. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to say, like, I didn't understand those things. I was right. just looking it's at because I was in I love know, with him. So I just wanted you're wrong. to stay it's okay. with him. Yeah, I know. Wrong. That's what I'm yeah, saying, and I know that now. That's not what you said. 
Bro. That, that's scary, bro. Yeah, uh, that's example scary, bro. of girls yeah. don't want to be wrong, bro. bro she, y'all, she, y'all, y'all are all wrong. It's 18 is age of consent, and there's nothing, no wow. way around that. If but you the... hook up with a eight, with a 17 year old, it don't matter. You're going to jail in wow. Florida. There's no Romeo and Juliet laws wow. like I, the guy would have to be within a certain age group to, for it to even matter. But that guy was way older. He was 24 yeah. or 17. Yeah, he He's was. going to jail, bro. <laughs> and in Fort Myers, cops ain't doing shit, so they can arrest that his ass for sure. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, God damn. All right. Oh my God. All right, we uh, save uh, uh, some of your niggas, man. man. Is there a statute of, of uh, limitations on that? Probably, yeah. Five, ten 100%. years, probably. God damn. Because you just admitted to people. Yeah, you're funny, though. You'd be like, wait, hold on. What about this? <laughs> well, no, because I just did the math. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to say no, that. No, no, it's fine. I just, it's fine. The math just calculated. I was wasn't like, mathing. The math wasn't mathing. Okay. Yeah, that's how uh, I was like. Yeah, don't worry. I got you. <laughs> Stupid. <man>. Oh! Oh. <laughs> okay, what about you? Um, a time oh. when the guy did the most for you. You dumped his ass, said, all right, nigga, I'm out of here. I wouldn't say doing the most. I would say kind of my ex. He kind of went above and beyond, but he was cheating the whole time. No so. way. On you? Yeah. Yo, you know what Gigi said, right? He said black men don't cheat. He wasn't Who black, though. Black? So. Oh. <sighs> never mind. <laughs> I was trying to save him, but never mind. Sorry, I was black, though. Was he black? No, he wasn't black. What was he? He was white? Latino. No, he was mixed race. He was mixed. So he was mixed black. What? <laughs> yeah, he was mixed. Like mixed what? Like white and black. Yeah. So he was black. Yeah. So like, yeah. he's not black. I mean, I don't know. Colored? I don't know. What is Light it? Skin. Colored? It's crazy. No. I don't know. Colored is crazy. What, what's the word? Is it mixed? That's I don't know. Racist. Yeah, I don't know what's wrong with this panel, man. <laughs> I mean, I, yeah, this wait, is a panel. Don't I, I, I am man. scared. Who brought them? Concerned and worried at the same time. Yeah. Uh, so what did he do that was like good for you? Well, I mean, he helped me get a new car and stuff. Ooh, what kind of car? Wait, did he buy you a new car? Well, he didn't. Uh, he didn't buy it straight out. We put the down payment on it. Damn, that's a lot, though. I put the down payment on my dad's truck. That's not special. But I still had to make the payments on it. Oh. So he just put the down payment on. You're it. What kind of car? Man. Oh, that's being ungrateful, what? man. <laughs> Nigga, say yo, sweetheart, down payment covered. But I still have to make the payment, and so if I don't, they're going to take the car. Still to this day? <sighs> no, I mean, I already got a new car That is right huge, now. by the way. Yo, okay, question. How much was down payment that he put down? 5K? 10K? Oh, oh it was more! It was, I don't want to say. I'm not going to say the like, amount. 20, come on, come on, come on. Uh, it was a Range Rover, so it was a little <gasps> Wow. Oh. Okay, wait, hold on. What year was it? This was a few years ago, so it was like maybe... Is it a sport or a big body? It was a sport. Roughly 2016, 2017? Well, this was a few years ago. I, I think, it, I can't remember the year. I think it was like six, I don't know. It was like, yeah, probably six. So depending on the time you bought the car, it's between five to 15K minimum. Damn. It could have so, been more. So you bought like 20K down basically. But no, that's. And she's complaining that's about payments. Minimum. <laughs> you probably put more. You probably put more. That's fucked up, man. I mean, he was cheating the whole time. He had a whole, like, he, he got had... you a Range Rover. Wait, but so question, you... question. He was taking care of you, right? He loved you, right? I don't know about What's that. What's a little he bit of side, side business? No, he was telling uh, everybody that Rover? I was like crazy and like Oof. he didn't know me. So was he buying mm. other ranges for girls? Uh, no. So you were the main. Like, <laughs> fuck. I don't know. Do you regret leaving him? Yeah. I would say no. Yeah, I, yeah. I would say no. <laughs> I, I don't regret it because he was cheating the whole time. So what I about mean, the next guy? He's going to cheat too. Yeah. yeah. No. I so you're I, I, I guarantee if he's honest, like if you come up to me and you say, "Hey, like you're the main, but I'm gonna have a chicken wing on the side," that's yeah, different. <laughs> okay, so you, you don't like the lying part of it. Yeah, if you're honest <laughs> and you're like, like you, 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 like you said, your girlfriend, you have other girls. Like you're yeah. honest. You didn't lie to her. Like you said. Wait, like, when when did he say that? I saw it on well, a podcast. I, saw a clip. Too, yeah. I don't know. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, is that true or not? Is that? <laughs> no, it is. It is true. Yeah, he he, he, he told his girlfriend that, "Hey, I'm you're gonna be the main. I'm gonna have other sides." She signed up for it. That's different. But you it take care different. of her, right? Do you pay? Or, or, or yeah. Do you provide? Do you pay her her rent and everything? She lives a good life. Uh, did you get? Did you, did she pay on her car? She lives a good life. <laughs> did you pay for her car too? <laughs> Does she pay rent? <laughs> She lives a good life. Mm. What does that mean? Yeah, what does that mean? My version of a good life could be different than your version. I've never seen a girl that's so interested in Angie's life, bro. Providing is different for everybody. For real. It can mean a whole different thing. I think you have to be at a certain level. I just give you food money for food each month. Yo, Angie, where you at, man? She left. But no. Oh, you're not together? 
No, no, I think she, she left the apartment. She left. Currently. She was here earlier. Or she, she was, was back cleaning soon. up and stuff and she left. Uh, okay. Period. You asked a lot of questions, by the way. It, I find very... <laughs> She's a curious person. No, mm-hmm. HR, that's all they, that's all they are. Yeah. <laughs> so, why do you come to work late to, uh, on Pluto? <laughs> it's right there. Where are you going tomorrow? Yeah, okay. Where am I? Yeah. Okay. Um, cool. Okay. What about you? It's 12 years. Yeah, we've been together for a long time, so mm. I haven't had nobody else to like go above and beyond. And I was a kid when we first started dating. Okay. So. Uh... Mm. Hey, what's with these like yeah, some like kid, you know? Yeah. What's with the FBI? How, how, uh, yeah, cause you're you're what twenty seven right now, right? Yes. Okay, so wow. you were. You, oh, so you guys met at high school? 15. Yes. Oh, okay, high school sweethearts. Yeah, yeah they're fifteen. Fifteen. Hopefully, you, you didn't like yeah. to, right? Is he twenty seven as well? He's twenty eight. Okay. Thank God okay. Cool. <laughs> Yo. Woo! That's Romeo and Juliet. So like, yeah. when he, because yeah. Agent said Texas But like, let's not admit to it. Wait, it's live. Can Somebody can report it. Like, let's not keep talking about it. Someone can, can report it. Can a 17 it. and 18 year old date? Uh, yes. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's only it's three to four years. What about an yeah. 18 and 16 mm-hmm. or 15? Yeah. Oh, it depends on the state. Every state's yeah. different. I know Texas, age of consent is 17. And then you got Romeo right. and Juliet laws in Texas. So they would have been fine. Okay. Her and him. Yeah. But yeah, it's 17 and 24. Yeah, that's that another, going that's to jail. But like, you guys keep saying it. Someone can report it. What if the parents it? don't approve, though? You guys what, want him to get reported? No, no, nobody knows he can't who get he is. reported now. He's what if the parents don't approve? Nobody knows who he is. Yeah, but I don't, the, I don't, the, the statute of limitations haven't gone up yet. But she's 20. <laughs> yeah, you asked a lot of questions. Like, I know, because I just, we need to stop talking about it. <laughs> you brought it up. I didn't bring it up. Yes, you did. You did bring it up. No, like right now. Right now. Right now. You look a black Karen. God damn. Okay. What about you? Um, I don't know. I feel like merch. Um, yeah. I feel like the men that just like are consistently like trying to impress you. Like, yeah. I miss you. Every that five is... seconds, I miss you. I miss you. They I miss you. I know. They tell you that? Yes. Damn. <laughs> you're you're on a roster at that point. It's just. Like, uh, oh yeah. It's just really like annoying. Like when they try too hard. Like yeah. I like you have my attention. It's so annoying. You have my attention. But a text and... is kind of different than like actually. Cons- no, I mean it's just like I don't know. I hate repeated like repetitive like. Yeah, me too. Men. So you don't like <laughs> men Who's like that? showing I all know, the affection. Oh. Wait, you don't like it's, the it's chase Chris. of men? No, I like the chase. It's when they like just like yeah. I don't know. They're just when they like smother you, they're not you trying well. to like you know yeah, yeah, yeah like when that. they smother you. Like when we're trying to get to know each other, yeah. like let a, let the vibe flow. Yeah. Like you're trying to like oh, push me? like to something on me. Like you're trying to like oh, I think you're force talking. something. Like like a conversation or anything. Like love bombing. Yeah, what I promise you, you. Like when you're trying, like just when they smother you, yeah, when they just put when too you're much attention to force on you, it's just too much. Too much. You don't want it. It's I'm right. telling you right now. Right. I promise you, bro. Seattle fucked her up. It gotta be Seattle. I'm hoping. Okay. <laughs> what? Wait, He's what? You, your time in Seattle messed you up. Yeah. Is he right? What do you mean? Like in know. relationships? That's yeah. Awesome. No, I think. No, Seattle's actually really good for dating. A lot of my friends are married. I don't it's yeah. ridiculous. For women, it's good. For men, it's terrible. No, Why? No, Why is it Seattle? bad in Seattle? Really there's too many men that live in Seattle. The ratio is What's the up. ratio? I feel like there's too many like cheap it's men some, in Seattle. It's some crazy like 55, 60, something like that. That's not that men. bad. I mean, you're a female. It's great for you. Bad oh, for men. period. Yeah. Because a lot of tech... <laughs> uh, uh, awesome. Microsoft is there. A lot of tech companies are there. Yeah. Seattle's not good for is men. Isn't Tinder good for there? Women, but not there. Isn't Tinder there? Oh, Tinder's everywhere. Yeah. Yeah, Tinder's everywhere. No, I'm at the headquarters. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I, I that I don't know. Silicon Valley. But I wouldn't be surprised if it if it wasn't. So. so in short, him texting you, I miss you, and all these lovely things. It's just not that. It's Maybe not that. Him. Like that's not the issue. It's when they're consistently doing it. There's nothing else. Like with, there's no conversation. It's only I miss you. What do you miss? My attitude? Because I know I'm oh, giving it to you. I like that. <laughs> like, I guarantee you, if you actually like the guy, it wouldn't matter. But okay. okay. We'll Ask him to send you some money and then like, he'll stop texting you. I can you. like a guy. Yeah. I can really be vibing with a man. But when there's like nothing else going on, like it's just like you have nothing else to say. But oh, you're so pretty. Or you, I miss you. Or I love hanging out with you. I mean, There's no conversation, nothing real, no actual connection to like. So wait, I'm confused. Solid. If, if you don't, if you don't like him that much, why, why were you seeing him? If he sex. was only you, telling you that, it sucks. What? Oh, what you, okay, wait, hold up. Where are you? Where did you get lost? No, no, no. I'm saying because you said <laughs> I was with a guy, right? And but he would only text me to say I miss you, or whatever. I'm. What I'm asking is, if he didn't have substance like that, what made you give him a chance? 
I mean, like, it can be nice at first. Like, it'll last, like, it's, like, things that fizzle out and within, like, five minutes. Like, it's really nice. You'll, like, be good. You'll be talking, so conversating. So how long were you guys talking for? It was just, like, an example. I, it wasn't really, like, it's just, like, mm. the only thing I can think of. Because usually when a guy, I just didn't really have, like, a good example. So like, you just talked about nothing. Fantastic. I, you, <laughs> you, you asked you me a question. About whack. Bro, what the I'm hell? You just made up a scenario out of nowhere. Talk to you. That is yeah, yeah, about an imaginary know. guy that was no, never there. No, it's happened. It's an example. It's this just is not Seattle like a specific. Effect, bro, bro, what the hell? What's the girl from Shallow are? Why? Wait, explain that. Can you explain that? What do you mean by that? I just mean they're very soulless and they... Did you have a bad soul? What did you say? Wait, why are they soulless? Let me finish. Let me finish. What do you mean by They're that? They're very nonchalant, and they actually are hoes. Whoa! Okay. Oh, 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 you don't think the men in Miami are whores? I didn't say not. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, well, how long have you been in Seattle to like know that? Yeah, no, I, 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 I want to know. I just have dated a few girls from Seattle. Yeah. Uh, were they like yeah, from Seattle and in Miami or like? Well, some left Miami to move over there, and some were born there, but it's like it's really common. Yeah. But you never like dated in Seattle. Nah. Okay, so, so, so you don't so, get the so you don't real really know. experience though, hey, because man. that's a washed a washed version of washed, Seattle. I've had a variety. Um, have you been to Seattle? Seattle, Seattle? No. shit. I don't okay, know. So, so it's called it rains. No, a lot. Seattle. The people from Seattle are fucking assholes. It has a name. It's called the Seattle Freeze. Everybody that goes to Seattle, they say the same shit. Like the people are assholes. They're dicks. Like, that's the reason right. why you become heartless soulless. and nonchalant. Yeah, that's why you you're like that. Yeah. I'm not heartless or nonchalant. I mean, I guess I can't I mean, be she's... a bitch, but. Bruh! Just, no. I mean, you're a Just hold it out. Hold it man. All right, let's move on. Yo. What about you? Uh, w Curtis? What about me? Okay, so, um, I don't want to name drop, but his name rhymes with Karen. I don't want to name drop, but his name rhymes with Karen. Um, so my ex, Karen. yeah, Aaron. So oh, my ex, yeah. Aaron. Shouts out to Aaron. So Chris? my ex, he must have been white. Chris? No, he was yeah. black. Oh. I don't date white men. Oh, I don't like that. Oh. <laughs> okay, sorry, I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay. I had my white boy face. Anyway, so he. Um, yeah, you're good. Go ahead, keep going, keep going. Okay, so he went above and beyond, but not in the like way where people like think it's gift giving. He went above and beyond in his words of affirmation, and I ate that shit up. Oh, okay? both boys are the worst. Oh, so wait. nothing even. I'm so sorry. I didn't know. No, it's fine. He. he fine. Okay, so I ate that up. Like I don't know because honestly, it's kind of sad. But like I get everything that I need from like me myself personally financially and like my parents so for a man to go out of his way to compliment me and like give me the affirmation and the support that i needed in a relationship when you're not blood like i ate that up and he gave me that but he only spent four dollars on me like four dollars w Aaron. wait he bought me a burger from mcdonald's okay hey. Wait, you cost four dollars? Stop! Oh. Hey, no, hey, 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 Mo, did, Mo, did Eric say fuck? Mo, buy a Big Mac, bro. Did he what? Mo, buy a Big Mac. Take a McDonald's double no, quarter pounder, Mo. <laughs> oh shit! You better get her a Big Mac. Anyway, no, you better get her a nice I, juicy Big Mac. What he did is like he went and above an and be, he went above and beyond in his words of affirmation, and I ate it up because I didn't hear like things like "Oh, you're pretty, you're beautiful." Like I didn't hear things like that. So of course I heard it <laughs> so growing you were up. Insecure about it? No, I was not insecure. Okay, okay? Yeah. I'm the most confident girl Sorry. like you'll meet, but like not in a humble way, because like. But the thing is, like, he gave me... Yeah, that's not humble at all. But he gave me the words of affirmation I needed. That? He supported me with my career. He supported me with school. So with I... How did he support you? Oh! He didn't support you if he just okay, gave you... Okay, I supported him. Support. He supported you with words? Come more, to yourself. More, no, seriously. It was my first boyfriend. Oh, and that was that, that was four dollars is too no, little, I man. Was, I literally was like the sugar mama of that relationship. Oh my god! And I learned a you lot from it. But like that. again, the words of affirmation is what I needed in but that time of life. What do you mean by life. words of affirmation? That's like, like he would be like, "Oh, hey, baby, like I know you're going to school today. I hope you crack down on your books. I but hope that's support. support. That's your support. support. Yeah, that nigga sold you a dream. <laughs> so what you want to hear? She got I'm gonna tell her what she wants I to hear mean, for the I shelter. Mean, yeah, she, I mean, I was, she always I was, got to think for sweet talkers. I was unfaithful. I will 
admit I was unfaithful because I realized words of affirmation ain't shit. I can give Why that to break myself. Up with him? She got. I was for trying, sweet, but then like. Talkers. The, thick was the good. words were affirmation were too deep. I, the thick was good, right? <laughs> it could have no. been that good. She got it. She got it. Oh, he she got it. Oh, it. it was a long distance relationship. Oh. He was in New York. I was in Miami. Oh. And I would fly to my to New York. What? Him. So what was wow. he doing for work? Was he He like, was jobless. jobless. Oh, God. Oh, oh God. God. He had a job, no, but then that. his uncle died, and then he lost his job, and he was grieving, so I got it. I was there to support him. How long him. was he grieving for? Like three months. So he had a job while you guys were together and still only spent and... $4. <laughs> no. So w- what was he doing when you met him? Was he like at when Walmart? When I met or... him, he was a SoundCloud rapper. Oh! oh. <laughs> were you about 17 years old? <laughs> he didn't have any money. I was, no, hey, I was Mo, 25. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. He's an actual artist. Mo, give her a snippet, man. Mo, <laughs> Mo how much money Mo, you make on Mo. SoundCloud? Is that show like us a, up, Mo. a livable more wage? Than no, can you right. show me? Is after? it a livable I wage? Do, I do, I do, yo, look, I do ladies, 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 ladies. Oh. You guys are yelling into the mics, and it's I'm hurting sorry. the quality of the oh, show. Sorry. Sorry. And it's got to be one mic can at I a time because you guys always no, just like stop yelling and speaking all at the same time. One microphone so people can but actually hear what you're saying. He was a SoundCloud rapper, but I believed in his vision. Okay, because I see the potential in people. Stupid. Mo, did you make more than four dollars on Apple Music? I made more than four dollars. Okay, he wasn't on Apple Music. Well, <laughs> it was in SoundCloud. Oh, SoundCloud. Oh, SoundCloud. <laughs> okay. Right. It seems, seems to me like you were triggered on But I learned a lot. Okay. Yeah, nah, I learned but, that I need to not spend $5,000 on a man. $5, over the period, that's over the a period of five months. Over the $4. period of five months. That's a lot of, that's like $1,000 a month. That, that, that's a apartment. Well, I was making 100 k a year. So. Was the burger that good? Wait, so then why it was at 2 a.m. when you're high? All right. We're oh, going to move on to the next yeah, thing. We, we got that. Uh, all right. So I'm going to read these chats, guys. From this point forward, we're going to go, what, 15 up, Chris? Yeah, that's fine. 15 up from this point forward, but I'll read the ones that came in before. Uh, ladies, which is the largest lake in North America? Hmm. Show the frosh. That. <laughs> that's the frosh. That is frosh, by the way. Um, What's frosh? That, What's that's his him. name? Okay, oh, Candy no. goes, wonder if the new GTA 6 main character would collect child support. <laughs> okay. Uh, Cam two times. Question, ladies. What qualities do you think are of a good, strong family? Uh, mm-hmm. If we have time, we'll come back to that one because I think Fresh has some questions to ask. Um, Thong Wedgie goes, ladies, whose advice do you take more serious, your mother or father mm-hmm. slash father figure? That's a good one. Father. All right, father. raise your hands if you would take your father's uh, opinion more seriously. Okay. How many of you would... Oh, wow. Majority well, of you would take figure. your father. Father figure more yeah. seriously. Okay, yeah. majority. Okay. Um, shorty next to fresh. Your hair color is my favorite color. Let me know when is that time of the month so I can show you what I'm known for. And that's next from Mo week. Balls. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Stud Muffin goes, would you rather get smash any woman uh, of your choice or release GTA? What? What is that? Who's he asking that what to? What is GTA? Oh, I don't even know what is that, he that, that to me but what is it coming game? out? It, okay, we'll move on. It's that gives it doesn't that game, that come out for two more years. Yeah. Oh, okay. uh, Chris got to stop thinking outside the box, or he will look like one. <laughs> Ratings for these <laughs> loaded dishwashers from Fresh. Okay, hey, he's rating you guys from one to ten. He goes unpaid ice spice three, <laughs> Smelony four, <laughs> Alien from Predator three, White girl colored and shit three. Oh, oh, boobs, <laughs> boobs on a stick boobs four. On a stick? Uh, that's. Uh, the person that skipped high school. Uh, I'm a Honda is, um, he gave you a four and then Chen, the blogger, four. Does well, that okay. have anything to say back to what? your ratings? I guess we need to get better. What does your bank account looking like? Right. Okay. 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 What does Honda mean? What does Honda mean? How much money is in that account for you to be saying that? Wow. Okay. I don't know what that is. Who the fuck is that, bro? All right. Uh, the Austin 24, how disrespectful. 18 year old dumb broad said her university is a community college. False. That's <laughs> Dunk City. I went to FSW. That was the community college to do my associate's degree. Period. That's Dunk City Basketball School. We got some clout. Shout out, Eagles. Shout out, Eagles. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that chick from Barcelona reminds me of that tour guide in the Lizzie McGuire movie. I don't <laughs> uh, Trigona says, Marin, if Angie gets fat on you five years from down the line, how are you acting, King? Putting her on a diet. She's going to the gym. What do you mean? What if she doesn't um, want to go to the gym? There's no choice there. Uh, red, uh, red pill overdose. Question for the ladies. Rate yourself on how you think society would rate you and then rate yourself on how you would. Ooh, I think I don't society rate myself. rates me an 8, and but I'm an 11. <laughs> I don't rate myself, so. Yo, Mo, what do you rate her? <laughs> oh, no, he didn't answer that. One out of 10. <laughs> <laughs> I Ooh, give that an 11. Answer. Mo, yeah, these guys yeah, are she, lovely. She gets the eleven. Oh, Yo, I'm, I would blush, but 
but I'm black. Ooh, what no. The? no I, I don't already, blush. I already see it. Ooh. You're blushing though. It's my blush. Your face is saying you don't get blush out of you. So you think there's like absolutely zero <laughs> in there? No. No. no, I need I need steak and waffles. Yo, He's gonna man. bring the blush out of you. Look at the Denny's nigga. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, we got here uh, Robert, Robert Fode goes. Um, me and my girl have me. Me and my girl have me watching you guys for a while now. I think it means me and my girl have been okay. Have been watching you guys for a while. And we love you guys. Question for the ladies. Name three countries. Okay. Oh, man. Ooh, we'll start that's a hard that's one. right here with you. Uh, name three countries, please. Spain. Mm -hmm. Russia. Okay. Japan. All right. Um, and I forgot to mention, you can't name the United States, Mexico, or Canada. And you can't repeat what she said. Yes. Oh. So okay. next one. Go ahead. Portugal, um, UK, uh -huh. and Iceland. All right. Okay. Mm. Mm. Hey, y'all. Mm -hmm. uh, the, hey, the DR. Um, hmm. You said what? The what? The, the DR? DR. Yeah. Okay. 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 Two more. Two, 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 two. I don't know. I can't even think right now. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> we got time today. <laughs> oh! Yeah, I got time. Good. Got time. Good. Yeah. Two okay. More. So the DR. Let me see. Make one. your boyfriend proud. Think Africa. Man, gonna be proud of me on this one. Um. Think Africa. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, no man. vacations? No, like. No uh, shit. You don't have a dream shit, country you want to go to? You want to be somebody's wife, nigga. What the fuck going on, bro? What the fuck going on? Oh my god. Wow. This is okay. a great show. What about you? Indonesia, <laughs> Mongolia, South Africa. Oh, I Wait. Oh, this is yeah, Mongolia actually, still exists. Yeah, Mongolia exists. They yes, have a tourism exists. campaign. I just saw it on TikTok. Where's Mongolia? <laughs> Mongolia is next to my hometown. Oh, she knows. Yeah. Man. She knows. <laughs> it is. They want to bring people under forty to go into their country. I, I saw it on TikTok. That's Don't cool. TikTok I mean, is lies. Yo, she approved. That's so. all. All right. Oh, uh, uh, check that real quick, Bo, please. Uh, if no, anyone no. wouldn't know, it would be Miss no, China. Yeah. 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 No, no, no. Actually, no, no. Okay, yeah, someone here, Google it. Is, is, is that modern day China? Would here's be... Russia, here's Mongolia, here is... Uh, no, no, Mongolia, Russia, it's... Mongolia, China. So we surround well, the... She doesn't know crypto, so it's... We surround the Mongolia. But she should know where she All lives. Right, look it up, uh, Mo. Somewhere All right, we'll move on. What about you? Name three countries, please. France, Italy, Ukraine. Boom. Okay. All right, what about India. you? India. Indonesia, Brazil. So, someone named Kenya. Indonesia. Oh, they did? Uh, yeah. Singapore. Okay. <laughs> cool. Wait, Singapore, what was the other one? Two? Uh, Brazil. Brazil uh -huh. and Kenya. All right. Cool. Now, what about you? <laughs> yes, last uh, one. Switzerland. Norway and Costa Rica. Y'all right. okay, cool. got some smart girls on the chat today. Okay. All right. Uh, All right. Uh, yeah. Relatively. Uh, well. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Jail, uh, Jaleel goes, uh, the girl next to Fresh rocking the... Oh, shit, where are we at here? The nigger version. Start out. Oh, nigger version of Miss Fizzle from the Magic School Bus. By the way. <laughs> Question I'm of the ladies. The <laughs> okay, you're giving a man that makes $1 million a month, but you can no longer leave the state you live in. Could you do it, WFNF, yeah. W Chris? Would you guys stay Fuck stuck no. in that state, but you can't, but you can't, uh, but he makes a million a month? Would you do it? A million a month. I could do Florida? it. Florida? Yeah. yeah. I wouldn't. <gasps> Which, state? Which state? Wait, but who says he's giving the million to me? You know? He's you don't not. know. Yeah, exactly. All right. So would you, would you stay? Yeah. Okay. How much money am I getting? <laughs> 10%. <laughs> well, how much money do I get? If he's making a, a million, good lifestyle. I could be. No, you live a good lifestyle. How about that? Like, yeah. what is a good lifestyle? Oh, like, he just takes care of me? Yeah, whatever you want, yeah. Yeah. What so, you say? Which state is it? Florida. Oh, right. oh, right. oh, it it could be Idaho. Man. No, no. All right. No. Well, yeah, we'll yeah, move yeah. on, man. Uh, too many. Too many. Yeah. Okay, much love for FNF. OG member here since 2021. I have a question for everyone. What's your favorite Christmas movie and why? <gasps> Home Alone. I was going to say mm -hmm. Home Alone. Mm -hmm. Looks like it's Home Alone Ow. all around. Uh, okay. The official uh, IRS ratings from 360 Myron May Link. Okay, so... Mei Ling, five. <laughs> First, keep hero away from her. Oh. Alexandra, four. Wobble down to the gym. God damn. Oh. He gave oh Sky, a, Sky a five. Huh? He gave Renee Nay a four. Every time you talk, th that thing on your head is two-stepping like a crackhead. God damn. Uh, Nilshana, five. And then Melanie, six. Moldy Chia Pet. Moldy? Oh, oh, moldy? Everything, oh. everything about oh, no, me no, is no. fresh. no, no. He gave you a three. Everything about me is fresh, baby. Thank you. Okay. What What's up the next? Fuck, bro? Uh, <laughs> all right, these ratings are uh, funny. Frosh. Frosh goes, uh, hey guy, is the studio falling apart? The drapes between twelve year old uh twelve year relationship and spirit, sp scary spice fell, L curtains. What does that mean? The curtains fell? No, they're talking about her outfit. 
What, oh, are, yeah. what, yeah. what do they mean by fell curtains? What is no, it? Her mean? outfit. Oh, they made a joke earlier. Oh, okay. Oh, no, okay. it doesn't even look like curtains. I know, it's so okay. not okay. good. Uh, 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 that be curtains. Ice spice, more like snorting on ice, uh, smoking on spice. I'll take it. I'll take it. You oh, thought God. I was feeling you? That nigga on <laughs> munch. Yeah. Uh, Gala goes, geez, this is a hard panel tonight. Ronald McDonald will be proud of her man donated $5 to her restaurant. <laughs> All right. Uh, question for ladies: uh, A man employed making hundred k a year, or a business owner making seventy five k a year? Business Which one? owner making seventy five a thousand a year. Okay, mm -hmm. what about you? Business Job? owner. Okay, make okay. Business owner. Yeah, taxes are gonna take half, so business owner. Employee. Still, what? I'd rather uh, have the man making a hundred thousand dollars a year. But it taxes doesn't make take half. It's literally they're, and they're still gonna difference. take. They're still gonna do taxes. Yeah, but if you have your own business, there's it's a way around. Yeah. Yeah. And you still no, can write stuff off driving to work, a clothes. Like, oh no, yeah. not really. Yeah, yeah you can. Yes, you can. Yeah, you can. I agree. Have you written stuff off on a W two? Probably. Yeah, so you probably don't know how it works. It's hard to do Yeah, but I can I can sit there with my parents when they do their taxes and have tax write offs. My, yeah, but no, my mom does my all the time. My parents, with, my well, dad has a with business, gas, and my dad with, works like, for someone. Like, food shit, like, all right, that's that's fine. Let me ask: seventy five k a year uh, as a business owner, or hundred k as an employee. Your guy, would you prefer? Uh, I would say business owner. All right, employee. Doctor. Okay, hundred k. All right, uh, interesting. Okay, um, what else do we got here? Uh, we got here. Uh, Fresh Ball says, uh, Melanie, we need to. We want to take you out for tacos for the show. That, who's Melanie again? I'm Melanie. Okay. Uh, then back to the crib for intimate conversations and bedroom fun. Fun fact, Fresh BBC can bend into a boomerang inside a woman when doing the missionary position. You'll oh find out God. later when oh, you, we shit, get acquainted. Shit. Make the move fresh. Oh, shit. oh, wait. They're what telling you to make a move on her? What the uh, fuck? Yeah, this is Fresh's wait, Balls. Do you have anything to say back to Fresh's don't Balls, Miss Seattle? Get him fresh. Don't get him. Get him fresh. Get him fresh. Next. Get okay. him fresh. You got it fresh. Yes, sir. Uh, L. Chris for bringing in the Chia Pet. God damn it. Chia, 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 Maestro Man. If you modern women are so proud of being three or fours with the whole do you girl and no regrets mindset, why are y'all always so ashamed to say your body counts? Ooh. 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 Ain't nobody ashamed. We said we all had jobs. What's your body count? What is my body count? I don't know. Oh, oh, because a lot. I don't keep count. Why would I keep? No, 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 no. It's under. No, it's under fifty. No, it's under twelve. What you said, fifty. Mo, you trying to be 13? Oh, oh shit! Oh, he is. <laughs> oh shit, I Mo! Mean, uh, oh, 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 he is! He's down. I mean, Mo in three bodies, so no, I'm saying. No, but I'm kidding. No, but y'all always, like the J. Cole song says, a girl with a body count of three, you multiply it times three or some, something something what? dumb. So you're saying you have a high? No, okay, well, I'm well, saying you just okay. men Who here lost. wants to admit their body count on the panel? Who wants to, I'll wants admit to it. I what will it? admit it. What is I it? just lied. It's 17. Okay. Bro, See, okay. Just, yeah. All right. What about you? So yeah, she definitely kept track. Do you what, do you want to say it? <laughs> three. Three. Multiply by three. See, I've only had two boyfriends. Four. Four. I don't say it to my body count. Damn. Oh. You, don't, HR. <laughs> you know what? HR. I don't say my body count. Uh, understandable. Yeah. Okay. I might get fired. Yeah. What about you? <laughs> Are you guys willing to post your bank accounts? Yeah. Oh, that, oh yeah. I, what I, I sure. We kind of did already. Mm. Yeah. We. Did we, you we, actually? We actually we actually do talk. So what's your body count? Answer my question. It's online. I no, I'm asking you. Yeah, hey, go go look so it up. What's what is it? Nigga, go look it up. Well, if you're you're asking me a question <laughs> to demean me either answer. high yeah. or low value, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, you know what? How about this? You're in the studio right now, right? Mm -hmm. You know how much this costs? Yeah, this is an expensive. Ooh. Do you own this? <laughs> uh, yeah, they kind of have to. Or do, you you have, do you have investors? Yeah. Do you, you have think? somebody no. helping you out? No, so you. No, let's pay it for. So okay. So what's so sitting? What's what what's sitting in your bank account? No, I'm asking you cash flow. Like what it's, do you just it have? It's in here. The assets here. If he sells this, he's gonna get the money back. This is an expensive condo. So I've only I'm 18, so I only have two. The, these are expensive. So you I'm don't have to answer. The, you could have just said I don't want to answer. No, but of, uh, well, he said I? he did. He he was fair. He said he owns all this stuff. I mean, that's what I asked. <laughs> no. So the question is, what's your body count? I just said two. I didn't hear her. Me that. too much. <laughs> oh, I'm 18. Cool. She's 18. Right. And you lied before. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. okay. what about you? Oh, God. Okay. What if I give you a range? Yeah, give sure. a range. One to a okay. hundred. Sure. That's all I'm saying. Sure. Wow. Oh, that, that's a big can range. I, can, I be, can I be 101? Yes. What? Okay. What happened tomorrow? Oh, 101. No, no, no. I didn't say I had 100. 
I don't know how a hundred counts. Oh. Yeah, so one two hundred, not because it's just a fair that's range. A big range. I want to be in the range. That's a, that's a big range. She's cute. <laughs> what do you identify as? <laughs> Me? Yeah. A woman. Okay. Just make sure. All right. What about you? Four. Four? Yeah. Oh, wow. that's beautiful. Take all their numbers and multiply by seven. What about you? I love you. Yeah, I love you a long time. Body count. Can you say yours? Seven hundred. Huh? Can you say yours? No. Oh. Okay. Can I retract Why? my statement? No, it's too late. Damn it. <laughs> it's on the internet forever. No. Yeah. It, it really is. Man. It really is. Man. It really is. Man. Who brought this panel, man? Well, I Chris, you did. So. Chris, you did, man. You're proud of it, too. Fuck, man. Man. Your girls picked us up. I'm trolling too much. <laughs> all right. Later. Fantastic. Yeah, more I lied. Questions. Yeah. More questions. I lied. No, you, you you go with your question, bro. Go oh, ahead. We got some more. Yeah, they're coming against you, Melanie. Okay, go okay so uh, uh, Mendo Gab says, you ain't from Seattle. You're probably a recovered junkie from T- Tacoma. Ooh, Tacoma, Tacoma, Washington. Uh, Washington. HR also, HR Ho, what's the main thing you look for on resumes? What automatically makes you turn away? WFNF Mondays. Or Money you Mondays. called her HR Ho. <laughs> HR Ho. That's, HR Ho. That's a creative. That's so demeaning. Uh, uh, so what do you look for on so resumes? The main thing we look for on resumes is if you're resume matches the job description so mm. you have to have the keywords from the job description in your resume and That's if it's tip. like well written so you have to make sure there's no spelling errors um it's well written and also like you have to go into like what you did at your job so not just like experience yeah like an- analytics maybe you said 10 percent or whatever data on your resume is good hiring managers look for that so That's some good tips cool okay yeah. all right Okay. Not bad. Life right. lesson. But I'm so, not an HR ho, so. Yeah, that was well, well, rude. I mean, you answered so. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Our last one here. Lavon says, ladies, for those of you that think you're not average, what is putting you above most women out there? My personality. I think I'm average. You cost $4. Right, you're let's, not average. Let's, um, I think I'm average. $4. You said you cost 4 bucks. Right, are we going to go around? <laughs> yeah, we answer? can go around. Okay. We can start uh, here, I guess. Um, okay. So what makes you not average? Your personality? My personality. Like, if what I. What about was, your personality makes you not average? I'm very bubbly. Honestly, um, it's from the Bible, but my dad and like people have said I have the gift of gab. So I have the gift of talking and speaking to people and oh, relating to the I, others. I thought the gab would. Gab, oh my God. G-A-B. That's no, like, 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 yeah, the, the Mom, oh, come on now. Gift of head? Head? No, oh Chris, 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 is Chris, that Chris. what guy it means? I always see it on the no, internet. No, the gift of gab is the oh. way that you can relate to people and talk to them. Do you think I, men really care good. about a woman having the gift of gab? I, yeah, I hope because so. men some, to say I'm funny all the time. <laughs> <laughs> of course they care about the Yo, gift of gab. Lying to they you they also gift. care about the gift of gab because that leads to your mouth. Um, okay, so wait, you're trying what? to advertise uh, your head? No, 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 no. I'm just saying, men, you can't just be a pretty face no, in these streets. Bro, you are too friendly. Um, I'm not too friendly. I'm I not. would say most men just want Why a quiet girl. Why do you think girl. that? You don't know me. You just told... I, I no, would... gift of gap doesn't mean you're friendly. It means you know how to speak to people. Yeah, Shut but what up, if I told bitch. you most guys want silence? No. That's not me. Well, you can't have me then. <laughs> I'll be single hey, forever Mo, before I'm silent. <laughs> Mo, okay. chill. That's your girl. Fantastic. That was Chris. Mo, yeah. Chill, you can call me that. Yeah, All right. Mo. Unless what, we're in... what about you? Oh, let's read the better question again. <laughs> what? Uh, pull up the question again, guys. Please. Uh, sorry, <laughs> <laughs> head. What's going on right now, bro? Um. <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying to get them to pull the question back up. Uh, yo, Bust went to the bathroom, man. You said Bust went to the bathroom? Bust went to the bathroom. Okay. Big Archer, uh, the producer? Uh, the nigga, question I was, the question. <laughs> how do you stand out against other women that are average? That are average. Okay. Uh, what uh, about you, Miss Seattle? Um, how do you stand out? I guess I'm really good with uh, numbers. Mm. Um, <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm just like really good at multiplying, like, Money. Yeah. So. Okay. <laughs> oh my God. That's literally not funny. That's literally not funny. Don't give a fuck. Money. Yeah, I'm doing numbers. <laughs> okay. That's not okay. funny. Math it, math it, nigga. All right. What's good? Good at multiplying. All right. What about you? What sets you apart from other women to not be average? Um. Just like my whole aura, me as a person. Um. Just keeping it real. Period. How many countries <laughs> can you name? <laughs> <laughs> one. I named one. <laughs> that's it. That's all. Wait, 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 wait. And yo, I don't yo, feel fresh. bad about yo, 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 it. Fresh mind. Yo. I see why she got married. If, I'm not married. No, well, engaged, right? I'm engaged. Well, if she signs up, then you see why. 
Oh God. Okay. Oh, I wow. see what oh, that nigga be like, turn around. Back shot. So <laughs> my nigga paid for this. Oh, really? I oh, oh like paid for it. BBL? Oh, that's yeah. good. Wow, it looks well, real. It looks yes. cool. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. 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 I I will say this though, it is better to build her up than to find her like that. So I, I would give him. What do you find her like? Instagram. What? Find her like what? As in, like, for example, it's you been twelve years, and they're probably tired of hitting. Flat ass. <laughs> oh, no, oh, no, 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 no. I didn't have a flat ass. No? I had a shape, but okay. I had two kids and I wanted to fix Why myself. Why you have two kids? Did. Okay, yeah. 12 years. My nigga said, yo. Right. Wait, 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 wait. So, wait, wait, so two yeah. of his kids? Two, yes. How okay. old are they? All right, all right, cool. They're seven and four, uh, three. Three Aww, and seven. So cute. Okay. All right. All right. What about you? Um, How do you stand I out? I would say I like to work out a lot. I like to go to Pilates like four or five times a week. How does that help the man? flexible. Well, because I'm fit. So I like to stay fit. I like to take care of my body, eat well. But again, if a, if a woman works out, I mean, she's going to be fit too. How do you stand out? Well, not all women go to the gym. Mm -hmm. Facts. But quite a few do. But not all. A lot of women don't go to the gym. Especially black girls. That's not <laughs> true because I don't go to the gym. The I'm telling the truth, man. A, a lot of women don't go to the gym. A lot, a lot of women don't take care of their bodies. Especially black girls. What the Why Chris? are you saying Who's that? that? Who's saying that? <laughs> Chris. Who's are you? That? No. There's no. No. Come on, Myron. Come on. Well, the average black woman is 187 pounds. <laughs> yeah. So like, is that Thank a statistic? Mark. Are you serious? I'm not, I wouldn't yeah. say that. In America? Average. Yes. And the, the average, average woman the average is... The average woman is 175, yeah. 5 foot 3. The so average black woman is 187 pounds. They're not working out. What's the average care? man? I don't know that, to be honest. I can I can check it. But um, regardless, mm -hmm. women are too fat. Yeah. yeah, that's true. So what, so what do you mean that every girl goes to the gym if the average is 175? Oh, no. Well, let's say women go to the gym. Not a lot, but some of them do. Yeah. But very how else, how else do you stand out? How else do I stand out? Because she's a black queen. I am a black queen, too. Yeah, black right, queen. Um, I would say I'm, pretty. I'm very caring. I didn't say that. <laughs> I would say I'm very caring and nurturing for the guy that I'm with. Um, And yeah. Okay. Right. What about you? I think I'm average. I don't think I'm above average. Okay. Good answer. Yeah, good answer. Good. All right. What about you? That's the only truth you told so far. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, yeah. Stop. Don't do that. Stop. 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 Just kidding. Just kidding. What's rude about saying rude. someone's average? Because, no, because that means you're basic. I mean, <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. It's I don't, I'm not Adriana Lima. I'm not some supermodel where I Facts. just stand you know out. Adrian, Victoria's Secret Is it an Secret insult model. to be average? You think it's an insult to? Be I think it is I'm because majority of people are. Not everybody is special. You can't just give those titles to everyone. Yeah, that's why it's average. But no, but they're special in their own way. No, society views them as average, and that's the basic criteria. So I'm the basic saying, criteria. No, what I'm you're saying. not. You're a queen, you and I really wish you knew your worth. You can't right. keep feeding everyone these types of delusions. I'm yeah. not no. feeding them. No. 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 Is pretty and that's okay. I accept but that. Everyone's beautiful in their own way. No, they're not. No. Oh. So wait, but like, what, would you say you're humble is set. about your beauty? Would you say you're humble about it? I am. Very, I just told you I was average. Yeah, but like that's below humble to me. What? Oh, nigga, nigga, who are you? I don't think it's average. I don't. I think you're very pretty. Thank you, and I, I really don't... appreciate that. But I've I've worked. I have friends who are models. Those girls are gorgeous. Like Facts. those are tens. Facts. Those are the beautiful girls. I am not. I'm just not one of the girls. I, and I accept that. That's not a problem. But do you compare yourself to them? I mean, I kind of have to. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to. <laughs> I, mean, I, mean, oh. I mean, let's say we're in a club. I'm standing next to my model friend, and oh, a guy okay, comes next different. to me. But I know I'm not getting that, Hold on, but that's, that's reality, though. Exactly. Like, everything is a competition. It's, and that's like, not a problem. No, but you should be your own competition. Can, can I digress? <laughs> I can't compete where I can't compare. I need a better doctor if I'm going to do that. But what do you mean by average? Like, 175 pounds? Is that what you mean by, like, I'm kind of confused? Well, I'm, no, I'm just saying, just like, 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 what would you rate with yourself? Let's do one at a time. Yeah, well, number one, the average. Yeah, that's the average average weight right but what i'm saying is that like you're saying there is no competition I'm, i think that's kind of a crazy way to live life because if you're going to sit there and say oh there's no competition well by that no, default then i can just be homeless and say there's no competition bro no, 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 but like when I, 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 i'm happy with myself so yeah I'm whatever get yeah no 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 but when i say there's no competition i mean every day you're supposed to get one percent better so you should compare to yourself that was yesterday not to someone else that's doing it like i don't compare myself to kim k because i'm never going to be on that level exactly I'm in you my can't own compete level. where you can't compare but exactly. is she above average kim k i don't know uh, i mean yeah well no, of course. it depends on she's them made an empire off of her looks probably not so, she 
Empire was a sex tape. But guess what? People bought it. People bought her stuff. She's in jail. One microphone at a time. But hold on. Keep in mind, the marketplace decided her value. Yeah. So same thing with you. You could be in your own world. When you step outside, they're going to tell you you're fat. Yeah. You're ugly. You look good. They'll tell you what you are. Yeah, yeah the, that's the, true. The, the, the thing like is, they keep saying I'm Chia Pet. I spice here. <laughs> and like, I'm not eating it up. So. But you know what's funny about this? What? Us as men, her being real and saying, you know what? I'm average is harder than you saying you're 11. That's true. No, but I just say that to boost my ego. I'm not really an 11, though. <laughs> like, when you, I'm like a 7 So what do you mean to the audience? Day. I'm a 7 on a good day. Like, when you say you're an 11, like, is there no, room I for improvement? That... Like, you're Whoa, saying you're shit. perfect? No, 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 Maybe no, no. You're I... an oh, shit. Thank okay. you, love. See, she said it. Yeah, but but the point but is, is that... See, here's the thing. I don't know if you guys have noticed it, like, but you guys kind of... Women don't live in reality a lot of the time. So you call yourself. It's can you please stop interrupting for two seconds? Sorry. You have a very bad habit of interrupting. You need to stop doing that. Oh um, girls have a very bad. Uh, girls sit there and call themselves tens or elevens or whatever it may be, and it's just crazy to me how like they think that they're perfect, and the reality is, is you're not. And then also on top of that, there's people that you're competing with. Like whether you want to accept it or not, there's a lot of amount of men that are attractive, etc. You have to compete with other women to get these men. So it's like. For you to sit there and say, I'm a 10, I'm an 11, blah, blah, blah. Well, if you really were, you would have had that guy by your side or chasing after you. And the reality can is I, that most I... women don't have the vibe that they think they do. But do you think men and women have to compete or women and women and then men and men? Everyone competes. Both genders. But it's just that one gender tries to sit there and say that I don't compete with anyone or that I, I'm my own competition, which is a ludicrous way to look at the world. Because you compete with everybody no matter what, whether you go to school, sports. Uh, competing for a job, yeah. competing for a man. We all compete. It's just that women don't want to admit that they're competing. Sure. And and you guys, and the other thing too that I noticed that women tend to do is she said, I'm average. And then you immediately said, no, you're not, blah, blah, blah. And then she also kind of bigged you up too. You guys feed into each other's delusion. Yep. Women don't tell each other the truth at all. Like y'all are they're never going to tell each other you need to lose weight. You're never going to tell each other, hey, maybe yeah, you should, right. maybe you should be more quiet. <laughs> oh, hey, maybe she maybe might. you should change, maybe you should change this behavior. Women never really hold each other accountable for yeah, their poor true. decisions. They really don't. That's I have a true. question. What? So what is like above <laughs> average? Like to you guys, you guys are men, right? I mean, I guess we're all straight here. What is above <laughs> average? We're not. Like what is a 10 or what is an 11 to you guys? I'm, I'm kind of curious. I mean, everybody has a different it's standard, but I would say oh, there, there are some women that you could make the argument are pretty much objectively beautiful but by, by most standards. Um, what but, makes them that? Like what's some standard? I mean, it's just things yeah, that men typically look for, yeah. right? They, men typically look for a thin waist, right? Uh, hips that are a little bit wider, uh, long hair, Coke universally, bottle Coke bottle shape, yeah. obviously full breasts, uh, youth, mm -hmm. good skin. If a girl has that, she's going to be attractive to a majority of men. Yeah, but who's right at the end of the day? Can I digress? I mean? We just told you the marketplace. We just told you the, the market marketplace. dictates it. Yeah. So, and there are standards that men generally look for in women. So you might have a, a, an opinion of yourself, but again, you step aside, they're going to tell you what you are. Yeah. The important so. part is there is an ass for every seat. There oh. is always somebody that's just going to want you. <laughs> yeah, you're funny, yo. <laughs> Fair enough. I was kidding. Okay. Um, yeah. What about you? So she said she's average. And then what about so, you? I, I wanted to say I wanted to add to what you guys were talking about. I think it's all about subjectivity because at the end of the day, like you said, beauty's in the eye of the beholder. And sure, there's objective reasonings to how people, you know, look at beauty, which is you know the thin ways, the nice face, or whatever. Yeah. But at the end of the day, you cannot like you said, compete where you compare. At the end of the day, of course, if someone has self-confidence to myself, this is what I feel like. That doesn't mean I'm going to project that on other people and believe that they're going to think I'm like an 11 or a 12, you know? Hmm. But I personally have the self-confidence to think, oh, I'm... Do you think men care about confidence from women? Oh, but that's not about men. I'm just, you, you're asking a question about whether, oh, well, like... No, 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 hold on, hold on. It is about men because men are the uh, ultimate consumers of female beauty. Sure, so it is absolutely. about men. Oh, yeah, so, of course. So I'm asking you the question then. Do you think men care about female confidence? Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, I think so too. Because I've heard many. That's many... a profound. No, we don't care about your confidence. <laughs> okay, well, but, but let me let me ask you a question because I've heard before that like, oh, men may think because you've seen a pretty insecure girl and you're like, oh, she's not that pretty because she's insecure, or she's secure so she, she's like has more like to add on. I mean, I've seen comments like that. Perhaps you. Might, but this is what I'm saying. Going back to this is subjective. It's if a woman's objective. attractive, she's attractive. Like sure. men don't care about a woman's confidence because we don't look for those traits in females. You guys look for that. We don't care about that shit. But who makes the rules about the level of attractive? Like she said, there's a mask the for everyone. There's the guys that I mean, will find like there are things that men universally find attractive, and sure. it just it tends to be that women don't really care and or know what the things that men find attractive. Like we don't care about your confidence or your ambition or any of that shit. 
That's what you guys look then for in you, us. Why do you lie about it and say like you? Because they want to have sex. Oh. Period. Wait, yeah. care about what? Sex. Because sex. here's the thing: if I meet a girl, right, and she sits there and says, "Oh yeah, I'm confident. I went to school. I'm educated. I got a job." Well, clearly you're invested in that, right? That's why you went to school and you did that. The guy is gonna appease that ego into your ego investment right. mm. and compliment you on what you worked on. But realistically speaking, he doesn't give a fuck if you worked a job or if you were homeless. <laughs> so yeah. But what about the men that want to split bills and do 50-50? Don't they care mm. about that? Well, mm. of course. But guess what? Do you want them? That's not I know, man. but I'm just asking. Yeah, yeah, no. Yeah. 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 They do exist. No. Yeah. Right? No, no, no. Yeah, but those Again. aren't the men that you want. Exactly. Right. Well, <laughs> right. well, well I, 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 I don't mind. No, no, but th this is crazy to me. You're fighting to talk to men well, you're saying this in, per in real time that you don't even want. But it's funny because the men that you actually do want are taller than you, mm -hmm. successful, are somewhat good looking, and as well, they'll tell you what it is for the most part. But sometimes because they want to smash you, they'll tell you what you want to hear. Yep. So in retrospect speaking here, um, your idea of what looks might be is good for yourself. But in reality speaking, they're going to tell you what it is. But just by who, who they choose. Sometimes you can decipher when a man is... Oh, sorry. Sometimes you can decipher when a man is telling you what you want to hear just so he can hit. You couldn't tell. No, you couldn't tell. You, I can't yeah. tell. Oh, oh my God. God. Yeah. 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 You want me? You want me to lie to you? Yeah, yeah. Mom, no, 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 more into the nature part mm. you know nurtures have this a piece where they're more um caring and have a little bit more emotional i want to say intelligence towards you know others and with nature well of course if we're talking about animalistic senses well men only care about certain characteristics to uh, procreate and things like these yeah. however then how do you different differentiate again this is just me because i believe in a, a bit of a soul and a bit more deeper how differentiate between animals that are just have these sense of animalistic sense and then like humans like why can't we progress towards caring about each other's like ambitions and things like these like why is it just about like what because I you're looking too. at things from a female lens, which is sure. your fault. Like it, it's my fault. Yeah, no. It, well, no. I'm saying that's your fault right now, is you're looking at things from a female lens. Like, why don't you care about ambition? Blah blah blah. Let me ask you this: If it's my job to take care of you and provide for the family, etc., why would I care about your ability to provide? Well, when then why do you like me at all? You just want to procreate, and that's it. Pretty much, yeah. So uh, you know, it's soul. because humans it's lack about, empathy. No, it's not. It's not about soul. I can make the argument that you don't have a soul because you want me for what I provide. Well, I can make you, that but argument you just, too. But you just said you're looking for a woman's perspective. So I have the. I like to look for ambition. I like to see what the man likes. I like. Okay. You know, so. But 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 ask yourself why are you looking for ambition and what the man likes? Because I want to care for him as well. Okay, no. The real reason no? why you're looking for ambition okay. is because a man's ambition is directly tied to his ability to create resources in the future, yep. right. which is what you're interested in. So that's a very selfish and self-interested way to look at things, which is fine. Because when we're mating, we're trying to find the best. Sure. We're trying to be in our best interest. So what I'm saying is that men don't look for that because we know that we have to come into the relationship as a provider. So why right. do I give a shit about you being a provider? Well, they're not all providers no, because then there's the not argument not of the 50 I have a question. Well, no, you're missing the whole point of the argument. No, I understand what you're saying. I think you're right. Like, yeah, like it's think, like I think it's the question. question more, I think you're right, I'm, I'm supposed to be the one that comes in to provide. So why right. would I care about your ability to provide when that's my job? But she's would you if you got in a relationship with a guy and he spent more time to get ready than you and he was a super pretty boy but he didn't provide any money would you care, want to be with him no but would you care about the opposite would you want me to get ready and look pretty for you to provide for me that's trait. my point right you, so, you don't see what i did there you're saying at the all. same thing you're saying the same thing <laughs> right i'm saying if i came into the relationship i'm the pretty boy i'm taking oh longer God, than, I'm, stop. I'm, I'm, stop I'm taking mode. longer to get dressed than you i'm being you know i'm getting yes. my nails done and yes, all this yes, other yes, shit yes, yes. you would be like what the fuck? Like, I don't care about you being oh, okay. Like I understand. This. What you're saying. Yes, it's true. It's not my job to be the pretty boy. It's not your job to be the provider. Right, but I never said about provider. I was just saying about ambition and just like passion. Ambition and is, is, is a is a it's a it's, it's a way, economic thing. It's it, ambition is a woman's womanese for translation for providing. I want you to be able to provide for me yeah, in the future. Money. Yeah. Okay. Come on, man. At let's, least. Let's Question be honest here. for you, Fit. If yeah. your girlfriend didn't want to work at all, would you be? Okay? She doesn't. I told oh. her to quit. So Ooh. she did, 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 never wanted to work. She works for me now. Okay. Yeah. Oh, do you shit. care if a female has um like cares about you? Like, do you care about if a female is empathetic towards you in a relationship? 
I mean, I, I would but argue. You say I, that's the only thing. Like, if that's the only thing she provides for you is empathy, would you care about that or no? I don't think. I don't think. I think women lack empathy in general when it mm. comes to men, and I'll tell you why. Women don't give a shit about what men go through. They don't care. If I'm a brokey, all you care about is that I'm a brokey and I'm not where I'm supposed to be. Well, and, and women don't really care about men's struggles. It's like they want the guy to be finished and ready to go when they meet him. So I don't expect her to have empathy because it's my job to be successful and be the best version of myself and then she comes after. That's what it is. Women really don't have empathy. I'd argue men in general typically have empathy because we have to understand women to attract them. But women That's don't true. have to understand men to attract them. You guys exist, guy comes to you. For us, we have to exist and know what women like, what they're attracted to, what they're not attracted to, dance around things, lie to y'all, sell your dreams, give, I don't know, give you affirmations or whatever your love language is. You said your love language is getting gifts or whatever. Like, guys gotta understand all this shit to be able to get women, but women don't have to understand men to get men. Now, yeah, obviously, so if you're the girl's top pick, you're gonna care about them. You're going to want to be there for him and support yeah. him. But yeah. he has to be your top pick because he's doing what providing for you. And she's empathetic to me this. now, but she wouldn't have been empathetic had I not been the individual that I am. Facts. First. Facts. All, women only give a shit and are but... empathetic once they actually are attracted to you and like you in the first place. So she likes you for you. My you know, my question is, oh, sorry, you go. I don't know Sometimes about that. Sometimes there are women that will build a man for, for you them. Do there. Mm. Huh? Was Sometimes that? there's women that will build a man for them. Those are usually the bro. women that are thrown away. Uh, yeah, cheated on. Oh. yeah, women are you will serious? build, build no, a man. No, I'm serious. Like I've, I, I have friends that have built their perfect man. It, he's a project. And they he see lies. him as a project. And he lies. And no, no, no. Him. They did not. No, they're they're married. Like they 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 molded him and warped him into what they wanted. But after. did you really like? Do you respect yourself for doing that? For yeah. going through I don't that? Know. I didn't do because, it because, like, I mean, obviously, you, I mean, I'm yeah. not saying you it doesn't did work. It. I, I get uh, what you're yeah, saying. Yeah. Like, it never works when a woman is building up a man. Women don't build; they move in. Like yeah. that's generally oh. what it is. Like, I think a man can absolutely build up a girl. Hey, I need you to be X, Y, Z. I need you to be the best girlfriend for me. I think men need to build women and, you know, reprogram bad habits because a lot of females have bad habits. But if it's the other way around where the woman is coming in like, oh, I'm going to build you up. No girl wants to do that. Tell a man yeah. how to be a man. That's facts. But I could easily come in because I'm the leader. I'm supposed to be the man anyway. Uh, come and in. tell her, I need you to do this. I need you to do that. Hey, I don't like girls that do this. Hey, I want you to dress like this. That's totally fine from a male perspective because that's my job. I'm the one that's responsible for her, so I should have some authority over her too. Simply put, kings make queens. Queens don't make kings. Yeah. Are you worried your girlfriend is just with you for money? Well, here's the thing. I understand that a big part of the female uh, mating strategy is security and a component of security is finances. But... For it to be only money, well, you're not going to get the genuine desire if she only likes you for money. It's a bunch of other things that you have to be able to have as well. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I'm not going to sit here and lie and be like, oh yeah, my money doesn't have a play at all. At, at all, No, of course it does because security is a critical component to attraction for females. Mm -hmm. Are you worried like if you ran out of money, she would leave you? Well, no, Wait, no, no um, serious because I know men say this all the time. No, because I, I've, I've, what I did was I put some uh, investments on the side where I'm always gonna be able to um, have a certain amount of money coming in, regardless of what happens. Well, that's mm -hmm. wealth. I feel like wealth is attributed to mm -hmm. education and building things. And then there's people that I, like you guys always talk about these topics, like, oh, you would leave shut your guy up, for like Ferraris. I'm not gonna shut up, by the way. But I will say that you guys always talk about like the Ferraris and the Porsches, and which is understandable because there's a lot of women like that. But what's the difference between like being rich and like wealth, which is building education and building something with your man, and then you know being rich? I've met tacky people that have like all these Porsches and all these things, but it. Have they you can ever just been a lose it. They can just lose it. Well, and that's not wealth. Well, he just know. said he's not going to lose Yo. it because he's smart. But, with but that his was money. what I'm saying. Then you have wealth, which I believe is. It's funny because you mentioned Porsche and Ferrari. Yeah. No wonder they lose it. I mean, it. I don't. Need to get Lambo. <laughs> Bro, GT3 RS is pretty I know. Cool. I like two GT3 RS. Come on. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, it comes down to just being. I used to work at Porsche. You don't think it's different? Like it just comes down to being intelligent and obviously investing your money into a certain. Uh, assets that pay you back so if things were to go down you'd still be fine and you get passive income no matter once you figure out a way to make money while you sleep you'll be all right but yes i mean i'm not delusional to sit here and be like it's only me like no it's it's everything it's uh obviously being in the gym and having a certain level of fitness mm -hmm. it's in my character it's my sure. mindset it's the way i do things my money everything else status all that plays into it where you got to be a complete package as a guy i mean think about it we're in miami there's many millionaires here in miami yeah. why choose him over everybody else that's true for one he yeah. can provide but two it's him but a lot of men here just want you to love them for them. I hear that so many times. I want you to love me for me. You hear that in rap songs all the time. Like, I want her to love Stupid. me. Stupid. No, it's everywhere. Love me for me. I don't want a girl who's a gold digger. I mean, we hear it well, all the time. They don't the, care. Well, we've, no, we've, I've said this before. People get mad. I say all girls are gold diggers. Some are just better at hiding the shovel. Right? So some girls will sit there and say words like, 
ambition. Some girls will sit there and say, oh, I want a guy that's a provider. Another girl will say, oh, I want uh, a man that's a leader. Like all of these things are nuanced ways of saying I want a man that has money to some degree because mm-hmm. you can't be a brokey and expect compliance from your woman. Like she'll support you for a little bit like she did, right, for three months. But women long term don't provide security for men. So all girls are gold diggers to some degree. And there's nothing wrong with that. Like, I want to be very clear about that. That I don't think that there's anything th- wrong with a woman wanting a man that could provide. I think that's good. It's healthy. It's the way the world has worked since the beginning of time. And that's just how it is. I don't think women should be in the workplace. I wouldn't be honest with y'all. Uh, but, you know, feminism is here. So now you guys got to work. So I, I, I think for a man as well. Uh, the mics? Yeah. Someone hit the plugs? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Someone hit the plug in the bottom. Let me, let me, let me fix it. No, but you Yeah, first. I can hear myself, but oh, I see you got it. All right, thanks. Someone hit a. No, 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 because the plug is in the back. Oh. I, I got it. Yeah. Yeah. So one of you might have kicked it or something. What about now? Give it a second. Let it turn on. It's turning on. And it's gonna it's gonna turn on in a second. Oh, All right, chat. We do it live, man. We are back. No, we're not we're back. Oh, you guys, no, don't no, push no, that no, box, no, huh? No, I can't hear you. You should be. It's gonna reboot. Yeah. Give it some time. Don't okay. turn it. Don't don't re-switch it. Okay. Yeah, I still right. can't hear. And you. we're back. Okay, we're good to go. Yep. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. I can hear you. Uh, and just to answer your question as well. So I think for a guy, obviously speaking, he wants her to love him for him, but. I look at it as who I became from experiences of like what I've been through, mm-hmm. uh, just dating experience, the man I am today. Mm-hmm. That's what I want. So mm-hmm. after all that hard work, okay, now I have to show myself as a man. I hope you can like me for who I am now. Mm-hmm. Versus back in the day, I wasn't up to par. I wasn't where I needed to be. So as a result, I know you didn't like me for who I was back then. Yeah. But now I become the man of today. That's what I want. Let's do, you, do you test Mammos. girls? Like, do you test girls? Like, show up in a toy? Like a? I All see the these videos on TikTok. Do you show up time. in like a? What is it? A hoopty? And then no, that's stupid. So, so, do you show up in a hoopty? So and then show I have a little test where like I'll actually like pull up in like a G wagon. Bob will be like, yeah, I'm downstairs in a Toyota Corolla. And I'll Why just would be, that like, matter to them? Huh? Why would that matter to them? No, no, anyone? because I'm waiting to see her response. Right? Oh. Wait, and there's she, people that genuinely have a different response. I mean, I've girl. never had a bad response to it, but I'm just saying I just want to see her mentality. Oh. Now she'd be like, "Oh, you're not a toy, you're not a Jew again." It's like, oh. would you ask her for money as a test? Because I've seen people do that. Well, I mean, that's another way you could test a girl too. But I, I feel like if you're doing things correctly, like um, I want to see that camera. But if you're doing things correctly, she's gonna want to invest into you as well. Mm-hmm. And I think in what for, way? What does invest like, mean? Let's for example, like money. Let's say she lives at, at a building, right? And you're pulling up to valet. Mm-hmm. Oh, babe, don't worry. I got valet. Or, for example, I got lunch today. I got dinner today. Mm-hmm. Small things like that. Obviously speaking, if she wants to show love on like Valentine's Day or, for example, your birthday, she might buy you a gift too. But I just mean in general, if you go spending money on you, she actually likes you. Okay. So. I agree because when I like a guy, I will always offer to buy a drink or to buy a dinner if, if I genuinely like them, just as a gesture of like me giving, like, oh, I like you. And it's not every single time. No, but it's obviously, not. when you're but in when the you mood, feel it. Yeah. you like the guy, oh, right, you know what? He's been good to me, they can be down good. I'll, I'll cover this. And can I just add- I've heard tests, like, sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. Oh, no, no. Yeah, because yeah. yeah, I've heard tests where it's like, ask, oh, I've heard tests where it's like, ask her for $700 and see if she sends you the money. Like, that's kind of like weird to me. Well, that's, that's kind of like cliche weird. because, I mean, obviously speaking, like, that's a random number. I would just say, like, test of her, like, actual desire and her actual, like, I want to say, the small things matter, you okay. know? Because if you ask too much big things up front, obviously she may not be that invested. Mm-hmm. But if time has, on some level, gone by and you ask for little things over a period of time, you can see the character versus mm-hmm. the one time uh, money or one time events. You don't really see the person's character over a period of time. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, so. I've heard, like, a lot of success stories from, like, my parents parents friends where you know it might have started off like they didn't have the money or they just wanted to like foreign parents that went to another country and started a new business and i think it's all about like the actual value of how you see a man for example where like you may not see he's not rich at the beginning but you're like oh we can build something together and i've seen so many success stories of parents that are foreigners and they started their own business and they're still together 30 and 40 years later and it's true what you said like 
they saw the value in that man for the future and at the end of the day they're still together because they worked at it together and it's true man the man, the man maybe the man put in more work or whatever in that sense of the economic ground but the woman was always there to support yeah, them but i would say modern everything. women don't don't have that yeah. trait really like that anymore Girl, know, girls are yeah. uh, you know hypnotized by tiktok and instagram sure, I, and, I agree. and I they think that's see true. they see guys like making money and success and everything else like that so it's i don't think a lot of women are willing to to build up with guys in today's day and age especially in the united states not all mm. men are worth building with though because i feel like the man that's sleeping until like 1 p.m you're saying, oh, I'm going to build with this guy. The guy that's not working hard at his current mm -hmm. job. Understandable. You can't say I'm going to build with him. The guy that's never read a book in his life or is not meeting with entrepreneurs and spending time um, to meet with them. How are you going to say you're going to build with him? Yeah, like, but you mentioned foreigners. Those... The mentality is different. I agree, and if you're coming yeah. as a couple, they come in here to like actually make wealth and they come I... build together. Versus if you live in America already and you've already built your wealth. Well, it's self-entitlement. It, yeah. I think... Like after the fact. I, so I'm you have to test immigrant. her to see if she's yeah. going to be on par. Sorry, but. I just want to say I'm an immigrant and a lot of I've just been hearing a lot of people saying like, oh, like now American people don't have the values that they did before because they're more comfortable. So they don't need to build that success with their partner. And I just personally think that's like a lost value. But that's just that's what I think. I agree. But I think it's possible. You well, know, we're like not going back. So depending on the man. <laughs> right. I mean, right. you guys are different. Like you guys are not sleeping in till like 1 p.m. So many men who are your age. Of course. <clears throat> No, I don't well, think, Renee, I don't think we it's We sleep late, but it's because we work at night. But I, I get what you're saying, I though. I understand does. your perspective. I think it does. Not all men are going to be million. Like, you say you want to build with this guy because he says, hey, I have this billion-dollar business idea. <clears throat> Stick by me. So many men say that. Stick by me. But there's no characteristics of a millionaire. Like, Elon Musk, if you look at his interview 20 years ago, he was working 24-hour days to get Teslas off the ground. Okay, Hold on. No, but real quick, real quick. What's your opinion on this? Because you have a boyfriend. Mm -hmm. You guys were in China. Yeah. Why'd you choose him? And does money is a factor for you? Money. I choose him because he's sweet. <laughs> no, it's money. Mm -hmm. yeah. He's sweet and handsome. <clears throat> Even he doesn't make enough money like I make. I build business for him. Bro, this nigga gonna spend sixty k on. on Dogecoin, man. But remember, she's not from here. The culture is different over there. Um, so you make more more money than him. Yeah. Is it was it always that way or is it uh, that way now? From first uh, two years. Well, she's a housewife. Yeah. Oh, so how are you a housewife? If, if, if... I know, right? Uh, because uh, later I help helped him with his modeling career, and then we make money during the pandemic. Mm. City boys, we up. <laughs> Yo, I, I promise you, bro, you should be a private investigator. You ask a lot of good questions. Oh, well, well, I how, is it, how, is it how are you a housewife with, like, you have to have, he has to have money for you to be a, like, if you're not working. Yes. Not, if you live in Miami, Ren is like. Yes, we make money for, uh, for the past three years during pandemic. Doing, like, crypto? No, no, no. Modeling. Scamming the shit. <laughs> Modeling made him a millionaire and retired? Uh, is, he, is, is he still modeling now? Uh, now we trying to do modeling here in Miami. Yo, this thing goes. Do people in foreign countries do people in foreign countries not care about know. income like Americans do with the men and women? Obviously, it's a factor, but like not like how I want to say the entitled women of the West are. It's it's kind of like oh. they come to it with okay, do art nigga, do this for me, do that for me. Versus, mm -hmm. all right, I'm with my man, I'm gonna build it up and see where it goes because I believe in my in my man. I feel like women here are like. So wait, I'm just I'm still trying to understand. So. He's a model, yep. but he doesn't model right now, or he's trying to find a modeling gig in Miami. Yes. How long have you guys been here? Uh, three months. Okay, so you just moved. Yeah. Um, but he was modeling and successful in China. Yep. Okay, so they just moved here, I guess, he's trying to. Okay. So he had a lot of success in China, and that's how he's surviving off savings? Yes, we do okay. a lot of advertisement and the female, uh, movies. So question, if he runs out of money, would you stay? Of course, we will stay together because we build our dream together. What's the well, okay? <laughs> Is he watching right now? No. No. He actually he doesn't even want to me to be here. Oh wow. Yeah. Why you? Well, you, you, you still didn't want you to be here? Yeah. Why you disobey your husband? That's kind of you disobey. Is disobey? Is she a child? Very, well, right? because I mean, Are you a child? Not, <laughs> not a child. Disobey but... your family. If he's your husband, you gotta like listen. Like he's a man. I mean, I don't know. Man. Disobey your family. Well, I mean, each other. Disobey your family. You know? If and my man, you I want to be able to listen. To him <laughs> if he says, right? Yeah. What do you What do you say to that? She's saying, yeah. So like, he didn't want you to be here, but you're here. Um, would Would you, you agree with that? Disagree? She's saying that disobeying him. 
No, because we respect uh, each other. We respect each other's choice. Mm. And I make this choice because he knows I'm smart, so he believes in me. Mm. But what if he told you, babe, honestly, I don't want you to go. Would you say, no, I'm still going? Or would you be like, you know what, I'm going to stay home? I will tell him the reason why I need to be here. Why? And I convince him. Why? Oh, you convince him. Okay. Go ahead, Chris. What? No, no, no. no. Why are you here? I, I'm here because, because I, she wants to be here. I'm really interested in this show. I really want to meet your guys. Okay. No, no she, she wants. Uh, and I, love, I want to meet China too. <laughs> <laughs> she wants uh, sugar daddy. <laughs> what the fuck, Chris? I'm just kidding. Okay. Hey, hey, fuck, hey, man. Hey, no, uh, so what? I had a question for the, for the panel, real quick. <laughs> okay. And we got a video to play. I don't, yeah. Chris, you're crazy, bro. Wait, video? Um, yeah, just real quick. Actually, Go we ahead. got time, Chris, or no? Yeah, yeah, fine. Yeah. Okay. okay, so ladies, real quick. When you meet a guy, right? Let's say you do dump this guy. Tell me two things that you do before you dump him. So you meet the guy. It's been maybe like six months, maybe a year, maybe three months, whatever time it is. You're going to end it with him. Two things that you do before you end it. I can tell you about the $4 nigga, what I did. What'd you do? <laughs> I can actually tell you three things while I can tell you two. So I apologize for my wrongdoings because I was unfaithful to him. You told and him he, sorry? I told him I am, yeah, I told him I'm sorry. You admitted sorry. to cheating? Yes, I admitted to cheating. And then I broke Damn. up with him the next day because the guilt was eating me. It was he cheating him. too? Hell nah. How do you he know? was broke. Well, broke. That don't mean broke guys be cheating. Well, no, he was, they be cheating the most. They got all the time. He wasn't cheating. They got all the time. <laughs> they got all the time in the world. He wasn't cheating though. He was. He was. No, and the he second was. thing that I did was I thanked him. I thanked him for teaching me um, the new experience because it was my first relationship at 25. So you know what that means to me? You got you got closure by admitting what you did and you just dipped. Hell yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> So you smashed another guy while you're with him? No, I gave. Yeah, you did. Dome to another guy. Oh, just head? Yeah. So just and then all my friends, all my guy friends, none of them even fuck. I didn't. I didn't... Yo, Bro, hold like, on, real quick, ladies. That's worse. Though. Wait, 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 wait. Actually, hold on. This yeah, is very important. That's worse. Ladies, what is worse, giving head or getting fucked? Yeah, yeah. Giving head. <laughs> giving head. Giving head. Because that's your giving mouth. Head, right. That's your mouth. It's too Damn. Person it's too yeah. personable. <laughs> I was drunk, okay? Like, in the a random guy. guy. No, I knew him. He was a club owner in Winwood. <laughs> like, oh, what, so you what, were trying what, to date him? Yeah. 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 What did Jimmy oh, Fox say? Winwood? Jimmy Fox said, blame it on the alcohol. Gold right? Right? Oh, Damn. yeah. Bro, you <laughs> fucked a promoter? Okay. Was it because he had money? Is that why you wanted to just promote the alcohol? Mo don't need alcohol. Oh, shit, Mo. From Winwood. No, but oh, like oh. I thanked him for giving me, like for loving me. I thanked him for loving me, and I apologize for <laughs> my infidelity. So she right. gave closure and then left. Got it. Well, what about you? Uh, uh, <laughs> what did you do? Two things, or maybe one thing you did before you left your guy. I um I made his whole family like hate him. <laughs> <laughs> I love. How? Uh, How? Like I just made them really realize you're a bum. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm sorry they I mean I to this day keep like my word I told them like they said I was the one dragging him down and to this day he proves me right I was doing jack shit but helping him mm. and he to this day just proves me right and I love that okay uh, so you you you, you proved his That's family what I wanted. like they said I was dragging him down okay. they said like he was doing jack shit what was me. he what was he doing nothing. specifically nothing. <laughs> nothing like not graduating high school not working not graduating. like oh my god like, so this is bomb. when you guys were in high school together. i was i was yeah 17 18 okay and he was 17 18 and he was doing bad in school and he was there th blaming you originally they were blaming me for everything he had ever done like since like my homeboy was born like he, i was just i was okay. at fault okay i was just at fault and then you were able so to flip I the script. Proved, How'd I you do that? The script. I mean, it's just like, how can I, I, the lights were there. The signs were there. I just. But how you did know. you expose it is what we're asking. I mean, I, I can't get into that. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> but I did. I promise you, I those from Seattle are nonchalant or heartless. I don't miss. <laughs> okay. Or what? Nothing. Uh, okay. okay. What so, about you? Heartless. No, 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 but no. So just to summarize, basically you ruin it. Ruin Family reputation and then dipped. I basically, yeah, no, I mean, I, I just wanted everybody to know, like, they he it wasn't was your making, fault. yeah, like, it wasn't my fault. Like, I just let everybody know, like, before I like stepped out, but like, stepped out of that situation, mm -hmm. like, you guys wanted to say I was this bad person. I'm not. So, if you notice again, it's closure for you before you left. Got it. Same yeah. a pattern here, right? All, All right. right, what about you? I mean, I don't 
We're not breaking up, so. Period. <laughs> I don't, Period. I don't so, Period. Okay, let's give me, give me like a alternate universe type of like, I guess, real, reality here. Let's say you were going to break up. What's one thing that you would do before you break up? <laughs> this is a marvel. You can or, create your or own you reality. Say, or, or, or you could maybe one of your friends broke up with a guy. What did she do before she left? Hmm. Oh my yeah. God! Stop! Oh, stop. stop! PC reboot. Good. Um. We got time today, cuz. The PC reboot. Today I got time. Man. I really have boyfriends. Bro. Um. Wait. <sighs> Just in general, what would you do, <laughs> or a friend would would do? You think before they break up? <laughs> we'll come back to you. Yeah. Right. Come back. Wait, 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 wait. Oh my god! What about you? Before, okay, hypothetically, before I left, I would make him like maybe take me on a trip or spend as much money and then leave. Oh, okay, me. that's wait, being real. Put some money in a bank account and then I would just I can't do this anymore. Wait, Got question: it. Would you tell him on the trip or wait a few days? No, I would act like everything is okay. <laughs> and I would I would be like the best. I would be do the everything, pull out all the stops. Right. And then when we got home, I would just block his number. Yeah, you a savage nigga. You huh? what? All right, what about you? What would you do before I you would ended? just send the text, we're done, block him on everything so I don't have to do it. Right away? Them. If if you keep if you keep texting back, you're just gonna give them like more more into your life. If he's like, oh, I want to talk about it. No, I don't want to see you. Yeah, then, exactly. then he's just gonna come back into your life. So is make it sim quick and simple. Is that how you ended your last one? You just text him, we're done. It was efficient. Okay. Did he ever try to hit you back up? Yeah. I don't know. I blocked him. He actually tried like texting me on burner numbers. It was crazy. Yeah, was for, very yeah, crazy. yeah. That's, that's what they email. That's what they all do. Yeah, for sex. Well, wait, is this a twenty? I'm gonna be honest. You're a cold eighteen year old. All right. What about you? Are we talking hypotheticals or what? I happened actually. Real. Bruh. Oh. Give, give us the real. <laughs> um, uh, I'm the same way. I just say we're done. Blocked. I don't see why to invest more time into something that's not. Is uh, no condom guy blocked right now? Stupid. Oh my He's god. He's not blocked. <laughs> Uh, but he deleted his Instagram, so now I, I how do you know? Small. Maybe he just blocked you. you no, I checked. Yeah, of course yeah, I sucks. checked. I'm a woman. What can I say? It's the truth. See, I'm telling you, bro. I'm mean, telling you, bro. No condoms. They can't escape but, it. But oh just, my god. Oh they always want more, bro. I'm telling you. Well, why would I want to have sex with someone that's having sex with other people and have no condom on? I think that's kind of gross. Why, why would you want to have sex him, with then? anybody? I'm without not stalking a condom. him. You are. He deleted his Instagram, and I. How'd you know that then? How'd you know? Stalker. No uh, comment. Okay. Do you have a thin stuff? Okay. Okay. We just don't talk anymore. That's it. I'm what about you? Uh, I will tell him he deserves someone who truly loves him. And I will still be friends with him. Oh. No, that, that, that's oh. the worst. What if your new boyfriend didn't want you to be friends with him? What would you do? If my new boyfriend doesn't want to be friends? He said, hey, Ling Ling, no more friends with X. No. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, actually, he pushed me for this, but... Uh, but I don't have any connection with my ex boyfriends. But you, you, but do you still talk? But no, but uh, they still have my Instagram. They give me likes, but we don't talk. Oh, oh no, that's oh, okay. not good. Why? See, I don't want my ex. I keep to be thinking on my about your current relationship. I could just tell that it's fifty fifty almost. Bro, fresh. Even though you stay at home, she she worked with sports uh, people. She worked in NASCAR as a journalist. Yeah. She's been to many parties, man. Why did you man. put your hands up with journalists? <laughs> because, you know, at the end of the day, man, I know girls who work with athletes, man. They belong to the streets, man. Sorry to say, man. <laughs> oh, my God. Wow. Bro, look, hey, hey, listen. She's been in the back. Yo, yo, you Chinese. Oh, you look good. Come by and do extra research. <laughs> oh, my God. With this oh, <laughs> okay, God. Chris. Oh, my no, God. No, no, but, <laughs> come on, man. Am I, am I lying? So, chat. Am I lying, chat? <laughs> so, it seems from the answers here on the panel, that most women want closure before they leave. Either it be cheating, getting some money, or just sending a text saying that they're how, done. How is money oh, closure? Sure. Well, you, you mentioned a trip. That, yeah, that wait, is money. She wants money. 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 Just sending a text so, is not closure. That's just cutting it off. Yeah. Well, That's true. you might be a little bit different, but the majority. So there's a video online that's circulating. Yeah. And I just find it funny because this video, if it's, well, again, I don't know if it's real or not, but for context here, <clears throat> the guy literally wants to go back and is willing to do whatever it takes. Yeah. Look at this video. Okay, let's look. Get on the clock. It's my time. Do I like it? Do I like it? Baby. Ow, get on the clock. This is crazy. I'm talking to you. I like it. This is one of the 
something like that to you would you take him back <laughs> after you ended it no. No. How, how, much money? Money? how much money is he giving no <laughs> no this boy is like child it's, it's too much it's childish mm, childish yeah so you would say no no what about you ick for <laughs> <laughs> the jump what would you do my immediate reaction is that's what you think I i'm worth a song you think that's gonna get me back i'd like drive off i don't even know how she stayed there that long <laughs> drive through what you hate on this road yeah she's got a niggas man yeah. <laughs> what about you i need like more than that i, I need some money like yeah, send, me, send me a zell <laughs> on block me like, that, that's the kind of love i want send me a zell mm. get, send a hand back to my house like unblock me yeah. Did Damn. you know you were gonna break up with your guy even when he put the, the down payment for the okay, Range Rover? I don't want to go. Oh. You knew you were gonna break up with yeah, him yeah, once yeah. he did the down payment. Okay, didn't she, I didn't she know, know he was cheating at that time. No, you are like a hard as fuck right no, now. No, she wanted a reason yeah. to escape. No, yeah. I didn't know he was cheating at the time. You did. No, but once you find out. No, you did. No, I did. I was in love. I didn't look through his phone. No, no, you did. Oh, I, I, I was in love. I didn't look through his phone. You did. I didn't. And then so how did you find out? Because I actually he just didn't want to hide it anymore. He just was upfront mm. about it. So he was honest. Mm -hmm. So he no, told he, you. No, he just brought the girl over. And what? Then I found out. Whoa. In yeah. front of you? Yeah. No, and what did he bro, say? This is a friend. Bro, she's lying, bro. No, I'm not lying. No cap. He brought the girl to <laughs> the house we were so, at. So I mean, normally you build up to something like that. Like, so you're telling me he invested and put 20k into a Range Rover for you. But then he went ahead and just brought a girl over and didn't say anything about it beforehand, or there well, was like, no the type of build up. Outside. The girl was outside, and I took his phone and I looked, and he was talking to like a whole bunch of other girls. So th th this was like an, an ex girlfriend of his that he was saying was just a friend. Or but there whatever. was no. Oh, so you knew you were aware of her. Yeah, I was aware of her, but he said that this was like a long oh. like this is a oh, girl he was with. He didn't know it was like that serious. Yeah, it was like a girl best friend kind of thing. Oh. I didn't know it was. He had a lot of girl best friends. Like he kept. What this guy do for a living? Drugs. No. <laughs> I don't. Do I have to get into it? <laughs> I mean, was he a scammer? Yeah. Like he that. wasn't a scammer. His parents had money. Oh, okay. So a, those Trust are the fun worst. baby. Oh, he oh, was uh, okay. from, uh, from Africa. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, <laughs> Do you, okay, so he was. Trying, he, he had his family had some money. He put the down payment for your car, and uh, and then you found out that he was cheating on you. Uh, would you accept cheating from a guy though, or no? Okay, if he was honest about it, like okay. if okay, if he was honest about it, like if he was a type of guy, like how you were, I, I can respect that. If he's like, hey, yeah, but are you aware of that? Like most men are never going to be honest about that. Well, I, he has to be honest because you are you're honest about it. Though. Yeah, but, but he's one in a million. Yeah, though. like most but guys are not going to relationship. It's only it? open on his Isn't house. That it's not open. Yeah. yeah, it's only open on It's closed. Yeah. How is it fair? But like, yeah. she's obviously <laughs> oh, cheating. She right. knows when she's signing. How she's not going to be looking because through your phone. It's, it's not, say women cheating secrets for too. It's not, it's not fair because men, life isn't fair. Men have to work way harder to get anything in life than women do. Because he's different. He has like, he has oh. money. He has options. I think for, for most men, they want, they don't. They don't have the money like that, so they can't be cheating. If you well, do what have... I'm saying is that most guys are going to oh. cheat anyway, so it's like, why not just accept the reality that if you know most guys are going to cheat to some degree? I would rather him be honest. He lied too much. It was just getting. It was getting. I'd rather. Yeah, but sit but and most women can handle the truth though. Yep. That's I can why. handle it though. If That's... he's honest, clearly you didn't. You left him. Yeah. Well, because he wasn't honest from the jump. If he was honest, like he said, hey, 
I'm going to be... But why would he risk a 50-50 shot? He doesn't know how you're going to respond. <laughs> well, obviously... I mean, I, I, I think men should be honest with girls, but I'm telling the ladies here, I'm letting you guys know, yeah. reality is that most men aren't going to be honest because most girls can't handle it. Yep. If yeah. a guy went up to you and said, look, I want to have other women, but I expect you to still be loyal, not go out, not do stupid shit, blah, blah, blah. Are most of them going to listen to that? How much money do no. you have? I, I, I'm down. If I, if I get a Ferrari <laughs> and I get a big Speak house, to the I'm mic. Down. Oh, if I, if I get a Ferrari, I get a big house. Mo most men can't provide that, so I'm down. So Better not be you're in California. Saying, if you're taken care of, you'll deal with it. No, she wants to be taken care of lavishly. Yeah, That's yeah not if you can give us a nice lifestyle, yeah. yeah, because you can afford to cheat. Like, if you're working at Whoa. McDonald's, obviously, I don't want to be in that. And then... Damn, you bougie, So man. loyalty is a price <sighs> to you? You're a bougie HR girl. <laughs> yeah, of course. Damn. No, it's not a price, but I mean... I mean, don't lie. Come on, man. Okay, how many men can really give you that 1% lifestyle? There's only a few, right? Not, I mean... Not too many. It, it, it's a 1%. 0 0.1, I think. That's not true. Point. That's Very not little. true. Very little. Okay, how, how, how many? But it's back like what she said. Nigga, like, you would annoy me. Yeah, it's less no, than no, no, 1%. No, 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 I'm saying what she said at the time for like, what is it, 0.01% of men who can afford this? Chill. Yeah, that's, that's less than 1%. Yeah, four, 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 Only about 1% of the U.S. population I mean, makes 500 k but they're not in like oh my a ten million dollar house, for right? Like it's a different kind of life. Have you guys ever seen the sprinkle sprinkle lady on TikTok? I love her. No. Oh my god. Never. You, you, Never. She's like you, she sprinkles for women. You guys you should guys, check her. You guys don't know who she, she is. She says, "Take his money and leaves." Yeah. Sprinkle sprinkle. Yeah, yeah. that's like uh, the whole thing. I mean, sprinkle it's, sprinkle. It's the same objective. Notice right? how all the girls know about this. Dumb shit. Sprinkle? Just dumb shit. But they didn't know that Bitcoin is worth well, 41 right she, now. But she, but she, she argues she's an old man cheat. You know, she argues an old man cheat. And then bill. you have to accept it. And then might as well just take the money. I got, it's not, I'm saying I agree with it, but she's saying, like, just take the money. They're all going to cheat. Just accept it. That's just the no, way she it says, is. So if all men cheat, why not all. date a guy who can give you a Lamborghini? That's what I'm saying. If all men cheat, why not cheat? She does say that. If you're going to get cheated on, there should be a guy that's actually going to take care of you. Yeah, who can cheat you and give you a lamborghini? Make sure he takes care of you. So, I mean, that's. That's what I'm saying. She thought, kind of says the same shit in a different No, but I've seen, the reason why I say is because, like, a lot of girls leave good dudes because they found out that, like, he had sex with some other girl or whatever. And I'm like, well, well the guy cared dude. about you. He loved you. Like, you're dumb for leaving him because the next guy you get is probably going to cheat on you and maybe won't treat you as well. But if your girl oh. is providing everything for you, why cheat? Because wow. what are you wait, wait, Providing what? The same reason you suck that other dude's dick off. You want somebody different. <laughs> You asked for that one. Yeah, you want some you variety. No, same I mean, reason you do that. I got one. drunk. You wanted some variety. <laughs> That's the same reason. Yeah, 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 I'm animated, man. Relax, man. Yeah. Chill, relax. All right, man. Anyway, Nigga, stand for Men want variety. <laughs> is why. It, like you want a variety hey. that night. Like, guys want married, it all the time. Even when yeah. they're married. Even yeah. more so. Yeah. Married men are the most single. So My it's God. worse when you're married. Thought. Married I mean, men are the most. They, they, they show look you their wedding ring and they flirt with you. And strip clubs. Oh what are they full of? Married, married dudes. Yeah. Married men want variety. Doctors. Because, uh, again, this comes that? back. Remember that whole thing about, <laughs> I was saying that you guys are kind of delusional about your self, sense yep. of self-worth? <laughs> Women will sit there and say, I'm a 10, I'm an 11. But why is it that girls that are 10s and 11s still get cheated on? It's because men want variety. Yeah. You're never going to satisfy a man by yourself sexually. Men right. always want other women. And I explained this to my girl. She understands. And she's like, okay, I get it. It is what it is. It took a while for her to understand this concept, but I just had to explain to her that like men and women are not the same. We want other girls. You guys want the best guy. We want What's the most well? girls. That's how it is. And I've seen well, she's very understanding. How okay. long have you been? Especially when they have money. I, I think it's different. Like yeah. if you have a lot of money, it's a little different. <laughs> If you have a lot of money, it's different. Like, but cause you, you, dudes you act like me that have money and don't. It doesn't matter. I know, but I'm saying it's different. You're you're gonna get a girl who's accepting. But they cater to money. a different caliber uh, of you'd women. Be surprised, not, though. A lot of girls models. are not cool with it. Yeah, facts. Yeah. Yeah. They may say they are. A lot of girls are not. Man. When it comes down to time, uh, they can't handle it. It comes to that, it comes to that ego that I told I told yeah. you guys about. That like a lot of girls have an overinflated sense of self worth. They look at it like, oh well, you know what? Why am I gonna do this when this guy over here will go ahead and spoil me? And I'm like, he's gonna cheat on you too, stupid. Or it's just that he he just is gonna lie. Or they say, well, I wanna be like you. I wanna be free too. Well, be free back to the streets. Yo, yeah, yeah. I guarantee you. But hey, yeah. you gonna come back? Yeah, I'll, I'll uh, never let a girl be. Oh, yeah. uh, open relationships only work when it's open for the man, not for the woman. Yeah. Hell no. Because you think women cheat emotionally. You're saying. Well, no, because for well, that's a part of it. But for a woman to give herself sexually, it takes a lot more. Um, mental and cognitive, uh, how do I say this? Investment from a man for, than a man. Yeah. So like a girl has to connect with that man to some degree to have sex with him. We don't have to connect with a girl to have sex with her. Don't you always say how women are the that? easiest ones to have sex? With? I mean, you always say women have the choice. Who said that? No, I, I said, said it's that? easier for women to have sex. Right. 
So, so off rip, right? Let's say you love your man. Are you going to go cheat on him? No. A man can love a woman and still want to go cheat. No, yeah. that's not true. I mean, yes. Uh oh. Why so, do you want a polygamous <laughs> kind of thing? True? Are you looking for multiple wives? No. Not, okay. Why is it not true? If a man truly loves a woman, he will not cheat on her because he doesn't want to bear the pain <laughs> which makes her feel sad. Hold on. Chinese proverbs. Have you <laughs> seen? <laughs> on Hold on. Have you seen oh, Jay Z? Yeah, that's what yeah. I'm saying. Jenny Mai. Say. Have you seen Jay Z, the rapper, <laughs> say, yeah. turn multimillionaire, and then Jenny Mai? The TV host? Have you seen you that mean couple? Young Jeezy? Yeah, Young Jeezy. Yeah, I was he cheated on her. Jay Z, bro. So, Beyonce. So he loved her. He cheated on her too. And he, my, she was Asian. He cheated too. So, on some level, I get what you're saying, but reality speaking, a man can love a woman and still cheat. It's not the same thing. As in, like he can love his world mm -hmm. and then have some fun on the side. The, the level of betrayal for a woman to cheat is not the same at all like when a girl cheats it's over if a man cheats it's like whatever because she cheats up right is that what you're saying she's only going to cheat with the guy that she's she cheating typically future. because the, the man the, 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 the man that she's cheating on the guy that she's with currently has something that that guy doesn't yeah, yeah. So women don't typically do cheat i mean she up, she said it when you cheated you said you felt a right uh, immeasurable guilt right you had to end it yeah okay for men it's not the same like men cause, don't care because right? it's not we don't we we can have sex with a girl and not give a shit about her but yeah. for women, it's like if you're having mm -hmm. sex with another dude, when you have a man at home, I know you have to get to a certain mental space to be able to do it. But do you think women, like, do they have to have feelings for that dude that they're cheating with? To some degree. And they have to want to see a future with or, them too. Or such a lack of respect for their current guy that it doesn't matter. That part. Yeah. Which is the problem. Yeah. yeah. So, that like you. Part, yeah. yeah. So, like, if I step out <laughs> with another girl, it's not the same as... Uh, as like a girl stepping out on another guy See, so, it is what it is so you don't feel as though you have to tell your current partner i cheated i mean she knows what if I you do. have no feelings for the girl that do you you're tell cheating her? with i don't know well I he told already her told her at the beginning yeah. but like when you do it like you're like hey i'm gonna she go to this girl's know. house why would oh, you okay that's just pushing yeah the buttons for no reason do she doesn't want to know if she doesn't want to know does that mean she still respects herself yeah. 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 How so? Because she's with the guy. Because she's smart enough to understand that this is how the world works, so that she respects herself by living in reality. Well, she has a lot of intellect. You know, like question: it's, that's Are just you what looking for like multiple wives, or are you just looking to have one? Are you trying to have yeah, like, I would have, like I would have, have multiple home. wives? Yeah, I would never have like just one. Wait, but how does a poly? So you have another girlfriend? I'm gonna get try to get another one, yeah. Who? Oh, you're looking for okay. We got some runner ups. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, but Myron doesn't dabble in uh <laughs> Well Chrissy, my lawyer man? Hey, yeah, speak for something. Hey, 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 listen. Speak for uh, okay. <laughs> but yeah, so no, I, I mean I, I and here's the thing, I think most guys want to have multiple women. It's just that can a lot of guys pull it off? A lot of times they can't. It's difficult. I don't think they can handle it or afford Their bank it. Account can't afford it. That's, that's what I said. It's not, yeah, about, about, it's not even it, about. It's not true. even about affording it. It's about um, a lot of girls. It, you have to have like rock iron frame when you deal with it. Like, you, like for example, like I don't sit here and explain myself to women. I don't think men should ever explain themselves to women. I don't negotiate with women. It's like this is the way it is, and that's it. Like I'm the authority. You're the woman. You listen to what I say, and that's it. There's no massage. It's like any you're of this be, bullshit. <laughs> You know, and I, and I don't believe in equality between the genders. I don't think men and women yeah. are equal at all. I think women want a certain kind of guy that has his shit together, that could be a leader, etc. What the fuck do I look like as a leader Masagi. asking for your permission? That's ridiculous. So men that like women that are dominant, does that make them... Men that like women that are dominant, does that make them... Uh, those are men that women don't desire. Yep. <laughs> Pretty much. Pretty much. That's Masagi. a submissive man you're describing, yeah. and most women don't want that. Okay. Is that the same with the men who want to, like... Want you to pay for stuff and like they they like ambitious women. That's a Is boy. That the same? That's um, what? That's a gym. Well, that's someone that can't afford their own bills. <laughs> well, not all the time. Some men just some men require. Bro, those are men I've that never just been don't a date like with you. a man who says 50 50. Yeah, I know. No. I've Honestly, never, I don't no think man. ever whipped that shit out. No. But the thing is, if you say 50 50 is wrong. I think that's like a good thing because you make are you it serious. Seem, yes. Wait, what? Wait, you yes. agree or you disagree? So you with think that? a woman should be a provider? No, you I think, think then, 50, why, 50 then why would you go fifty fifty? Though. Okay, wait. fifty fifty is fine because you shouldn't expect a male to provide Hold everything up. for you. If he's wait, going wait. fifty fifty, be... he's going. All right, no. all right, all right, all right. Hold on, ladies. Let her finish time. her thought, okay. and then no. you guys can go ahead and say what you want to say. Okay, go just give me twenty seconds. Yeah. So I think that if you're claiming to be an independent ass bitch, 
you should not and then you meet a man that provides for you you should not be mad if he doesn't provide everything for you if you're independent if why do you need a man you, no 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 hold up if he gives you the dinner i can get the movie what's wrong with that so you're you're saying that you want to be a provider that's what i that don't want to be a provider so but i think it's fine to i think it's, it's okay her. to give right, back. so she's saying it's okay to go 50 50. why do you disagree with that go ahead i'll let's turn it to each of you to say your point okay that's good um, I mean, it's just, okay, it's really big. To me, it's just that the beginning, it's really important. A man mm -hmm. is not going to come to me and say 50-50. Like, that's just gives, like, the rest of the relationship. Not only is it a standard, but I think women provide a different type. It, not necessarily money, but we provide an emotional care, a nurturing aspect. We're not a provider to go out in the world and fend for, exactly. like, for ourselves and a family. That's a man's job. And but sometimes men, he just said men don't give a shit about that. Oh, but okay, about we're talking what? about, about men about empathy. What? Wait, what? 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 So, so what? when he said that men don't give a shit about women's personality. But listen, no, no, no. He's talking about in a relationship aspect. I'm talking about like, That's in what a I'm family talking about aspect. as well. Yeah, I'm talking about in an, if you're if I'm married to some guy and and I'm I'm supposed to take care of the kids. I'm supposed to like I have different we roles. We play a role, yeah. yeah. And my role is not to be a provider. Okay, so you disagree with if it, he's a stay-at-home dad and you provide the bills. Correct. You can't do that. That's so not you want to work while you're that pregnant? That is not a man. That is a man. Is a, man. a man that takes care of his family, his Can kin? I ask you something? How does your, does care your dad family? take care of your family? <laughs> yes, he can, takes care of my family and so does my mom. What does your mom do? My work mom for your is dad. an entrepreneur. No, she does not work for herself. You just she said that both herself. of your parents own schools. Yes. They do. So do you want to work while you're pregnant? Like nine months pregnant? No, you I don't. Be... Okay, so how are you going to go 50-50? Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm saying <laughs> my... You have to work while you're pregnant. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up. Don't, you can't be delusional. No, I'm not being delusional. You're going to work while you're pregnant. Like I heard, you're like, no, 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 the thing is, my mom out. owns a school, my dad owns a school. They're both principals. They're co-principals. It's 50-50. My mom started the school. My dad came to her vision. Well, who are the so students? My dad was you, in the military before he joined the school. I just asked you who provides for your family. You said your dad. Okay, but so does my mom. <laughs> okay, so she has to work while she's pregnant. She got like okay. So she when didn't the know when she was pregnant. Okay, okay because the men that provides. Well, that's why your mom yeah. didn't work. But I don't. I don't. If you're 50 50, it's 50 and 50 okay. to yeah. That's why you attract four dollar men. That's why you attract four dollar men. Nine months pregnant, no. you're going to be serving. Nine months pregnant, you're going to be at the CVS. And I don't, no, want, I don't want them to be disrespectful. No, no, no. But I, I you have to set a standard okay, for yourself. Okay, but the thing is, I was a jit when I dated that kid, so okay. I don't have okay. a standard. Okay. I was a kid, and I don't want to date. Renee, you don't know me, so you can't say I have the same mentality. You said you're okay with going 50-50. 50-50 is fine. If he gives the movie, I give the dinner. Like, there's nothing wrong with that. That's not 50-50. But that's not 50-50. Okay, 60-40, 70-30. Like, it's the same shit. No, 50-50 is when the rent is due, no matter if you're nine months pregnant, and you're if you're sick, that shit, you should not be still I'm not talking about marriage. I'm not talking about marriage. But it's like, it's kind of If you're in a relationship, <laughs> okay, it's 50-50 Okay, but why, do you, why, are you, why are you two against 50-50? What's because wrong? That's, because I don't because that's work not how it was raised. My parents no. are very traditional, and my dad provides. So my, are mine, but I'm saying, obviously I don't, not like, don't, I don't like men spending money on me because I've always been well, raised. That's why you got to four for four. You can't be against it. Son. Don't feel bad. Yeah, but I'm this? saying, Perfect. honestly, I learned from that, and I know my worth now. But I'm saying, <laughs> Wait, like, but you're still you attracted to the same kind of man. You're still listening to what I'm saying. No, you're not listening because you still have the same type you of guys. Still, you still want to date a, a brokey. You Mama, do. you just said 50-50. You like, want to date a child? No, I'm saying, no, that. I'm saying in the future when I'm married, I don't think there's an issue. Mo. Like if he loses, if your husband loses your job, what are you gonna do? Okay, he just said he's smart with no, his money. No, I'm saying what are you going? To okay, do? but my husband should be smart with his money. He, if he loses his job, there should be other. Okay, okay, but say he doesn't have wealth. But I would like never be with a man here. who's like that. I, I don't exactly. want to be with the guy who's gonna okay, lose his job. Okay, but what and fall if he his loses butt? his job ten years into the relationship? He should have other money. Are you going to leave him if you have a child with him? Are you going to leave him? What she says. How is it different than like? She just called her delusional. How is it different than when you said she should have backup plans and things like that? That's not delusional. How That's just that being not... smart. How are right. you going to move out and say, oh, I'm fine with my one job? Are you not going to think, what if I get fired? Yeah. What if I can't come Especially as a man. That that is, you're going to be you providing. Need you need plan Bs, plan Cs, and that's for men, women, and anybody. Okay, so the men that you're you in the have future, a... you, would have, like, you would have a plan. If you're oh, being yeah. like, really like smart, yeah. How are you just going to dive into something and say, I'm good off of that? You need plan Bs, What about like, what about... This is funny, bro. 
bro. No, what no, if the just <laughs> What if drastic? It was a drastic situation. Something happens, and he loses his. Business. He should have a plan B. Don't people say? Don't people say? If you have a plan B, that means you think plan A is going to fail. The, what? A man should have multiple streams of income. Okay, if you're a man who's gonna say, "I want to provide for you." Yeah. But see, you if you're with the 50 50 streams. man, you will never uh, find a man who has those types yeah. of ambitions. Anybody that has that mindset. Real quick, you right. got 21K so, watching, guys. Like yeah. the video. Uh, yeah. Uh, sub to the channel. So, you, Rumble, you believe YouTube. in 50 50 relationships? You don't. No. Do you believe in 50 50? No. You don't? Okay. No. You don't, clearly. So you don't. No. Um, do you believe in 50 50 relationships? No. No? Okay. I believe. Okay. But your relationship right now is not a 50 50. Yep. Yeah, you're but your housewife. But the man is if they make together. No, but you, that's not the same. No, he did. You're, you're a housewife, support, like emotionally. <laughs> you're a housewife. Yeah. You're a housewife. You're not I build providing. his career. Without you me, are more so more that's necessary. what we're saying as women. Sorry, we play different roles. Like we're there to like help you. We're talking like, about making up. money. Not... Fifty fifty for making yeah, money. Yeah, you're like, not like, providing the rent money. Is due, you no, but wait, 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 wait. No, no she's saying wait, without wait, her, her man would have a career. Let her answer real quick. Yeah, but she doesn't work now though. Moral support. So. You were saying, but she's reaping the benefits. I'm not working right she's now. It's because I'm prepared for my master degree. No, I understand that, but I'm saying, but do you believe in fifty-fifty relationships? Yes, well? I believe. Okay, so when the rent is due, you pay half every single month. Yes, I'm able to do that. Okay. So when you're pregnant, you're still going to be paying nine months pregnant. You're going to be paying half. In my culture, all the women like this. Okay. Yeah. Mm, talk to something's off here. Yeah. What's all? She's a. It doesn't make sense. She's a housewife. Yeah, no. No, but I think I think she uh -huh. is um gaining the benefits of the. She planted a seed. It's into a. It's a full blown tree now, and she's reaping. I mean, she's getting she those just benefits. Said that her from. husband was looking for jobs. No, here. but I'm saying she invested into her husband. She invested into her man, and because support. listen, because she invested into her man, she's be able to be a housewife. Listen, yeah. the China isn't Chinese. But she didn't put. The yeah, I, no, it's just, it's just yeah, confusing. Chinese women don't the go for China. Is a China. Yeah, yeah, they don't. The they don't at all. Yeah, they that's don't. not the culture there yeah. at all. I was going to say. It's yeah. not the West at all. Yeah, yeah China, 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 China the women, the women China China is a provider. China is more powerful and stronger than the men. Okay. Wow, go ahead, Empress. Yeah. She's Westernized. Empress. Yeah, sun's off here. But why do you guys keep bringing up... Bringing up being pregnant. What does that have to do with because this? Because you're, you're having sex. You're having a job to have a future family. with a man. Yeah, you think that's get... only the only thing women are capable of? But you're getting... going to get eventually why get pregnant. If you're thinking about Think of the marriage. wild. Why does... Why, why do they I'm mate? I'm thinking about why it. Why do they have... But what if you get pregnant? We're... Eventually you'll get pregnant. <laughs> okay. Okay. Why do they mate to have kids? I think uh, she's lost. Yeah, there we yeah, go. Yeah. No, but I, mean, I just if I don't, don't have a child, I don't I, want to do it with someone that doesn't have the money to provide for Yeah, me. but like, me I'm saying I can, I can agree to disagree with the whole 50-50, but when I'm pregnant, I don't want to work. Sure. So I you don't, don't want 50-50. So that's not 50-50. Yeah, so no, no, but that's the only period where I'm okay not working. I know, but like, uh, you're going to be, how long are you, uh, you're off the workforce for nine months, probably mm -hmm. a year or two when the kids, how are you going to go back yeah, onto the job market? Yeah, mama, it's not like that. Because if you're doing 50-50, then you just get used to it. You still have a child now. It's not a dog. Yeah, yeah. It's a but, child you have yeah, to raise. You're, right. you're not and gonna be able to And that's where we come in with our roles. That's a that's a woman's role right there. When that child's mm -hmm. there, you take you care, take of, the care kid. of it. You nurture. You and that's a full time right job. That's so, a full time because job. that's not a man's job. Men like genetically are not. Built but they're like, not men built are supposed for to any provide. They're supposed to provide a nurturing aspect too, right? Their job and it happens in nature all the time. Provide a nurturing aspect as well. All right, stop real quick. Stop real quick. I think um what it's interesting because like. You said you want 50-50, but when they gave you a very real-life scenario of you having a kid and being out the workforce for a period of time, then mm -hmm. you were like, oh, you know what, maybe maybe no. Only and I think and I think that's kind of where, the where feminism lies yeah. because feminism tells women to chase a career and make money, et cetera, but when real life hits and you have a kid or whatever it may be, you're not going to want to enter the workforce when you have a, a, a fucking baby in the crib. Do you want to leave it with a, you know, in a daycare stranger, or whatever? Yeah. Most women typically... No. What I've realized is most girls go into the workforce because they have to, but if they have the luxury where their guy is able to make enough for both of them, they'll stay at home for sure with the kid. Um, and I've seen even career women, lawyers, doctors, whatever it may be, they have a kid. They start leaving work earlier. They start mm -hmm. getting itched. They're like, what the fuck am I doing here? So, Or they cut back their hours. So I get what you're saying. Like, oh, 50-50, it should be this way. But in practicality, it just doesn't work, really. I just It just doesn't work. I, I, and, and there's a bunch of reasons for that. I don't think women are as 
ambitious as men when it comes to wealth creation uh, because you guys just don't have the natural proclivity to create excess resources like men do. You know, women typically make money and say dumb shit like I'm independent. Men make money and say, oh, I can take care of a family now. Mm-hmm. So we're not the same. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like and when women make money and say I'm independent, ask yourself, who are they independent of? They're saying they're independent of, of men. Man. Do yeah. men think there should be a certain percentage? Of or what? no? It should only just be providing and then nurturing. Well, here's women. the thing. You, you can thank feminism for, you know, the feminized men that sit there and say, let's go 50-50. But most girls, and it's interesting how most girls here on the panel don't want a 50-50 relationship. And I would argue most women don't want a 50-50 relationship. You know, they might not admit it. I'm glad you guys admitted it, but most girls don't. And I would argue, even with you, when you get a guy and you have a kid or anything else like that, you're not going to want a 50-50 relationship. I mean, I was like a 100-zero relationship. Yeah, but that's you weren't you're pregnant. About it's you different. Like, that's when where you, you should And it didn't last. last. Think about yeah, it. It, it didn't last. Yeah, but it didn't last. It's, no, it's it didn't. You cheated reality. on him. That yeah. should show you right then and there that you don't. No, but even that, if I didn't cheat, I would have left him. But you did. No. But that's yeah. my point. Okay, yeah. and but that's the truth. Why did you cheat? I cheated because I was bored. Exactly. Okay, you were bored. You don't have to tell me my truth. I have a genuine question. Would you still cheat if the woman had a child? Huh? Would you still be cheating if the woman had a child? That, that's you? the most time men cheat. I mean, yeah, I mean, she's not going to be as attractive as she. I'm going to want other women. Yeah, for sure. yeah that's that's like when most men cheat. Like they say, I'll have, oh my wife. Yeah, I would. I would have. Like I mean, and here's the thing, man. Like them. any dude that ha- every dude I know that has money has other chicks, bro. Masagi. Every single one. <laughs> You know, the only thing is, I, I've noticed is that they get escorts. I mean, I'm not, I'm not with that. But yeah, fuck but that. yeah. What's but, so wrong about that? Paying prostitution? Wait, wait, paying for what? sex, I think, is not a good move. I but mean, all, what if really men that pay for OnlyFans is that the same thing to you? They're both terrible. Yeah, just, uh, just as bad. Yeah, OnlyFans even worse. Because it's online. <laughs> paying but, for pornography. But they're not physically touching. But it's worse. So how is it worse? Why it's worse? Yeah, it's yeah. worse. If they you're could, not getting anything. <laughs> oh. So, oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah it's worse. Like I mean, okay. you're paying for porn. Like, nah, that's a hell. Yeah. That's uh, and I'd argue most women would find that not a, very unattractive too. If you find out a dude is out here paying for yeah, only honestly, fans. if you Pictures. watch it yourself, I don't think you should have a problem with it. All right, you watch only books. you watch porn. What do you mean? I plead the fifth. Okay, so right, he's, well, he needs some help, man. You're an anomaly. Most women don't watch <laughs> pornography. No. Um, I know. Okay, we got yeah. some chats here. By the I way, I thought everyone watched porn. Yeah, just no, no, really. No. Very few women watch porn. I mean, you watch porn too. I thought everyone watched porn. Like I thought, I, I feel like women. Lies. I mean, not on a regular. Not, I think women, not a regular yeah. thing, but yeah, like it's not right. like. Uh, but yeah, wa- wa- yeah, watching porn once or twice a month. As a female, that's yeah. not that often. There's um, dudes that watch I porn mean, every, every yeah. single day, like, multiple times, ten times a day. Wow, yeah. but people, really? women watch porn. They just yeah. lie about that. Yeah, sure. yeah, but, but not like no. as men. No, not, not every to the same day. They're not watching it ten times a day. Yeah, no, yeah. Yo, shoot porn at it, man. No, yeah. I'm not. That's what I. No, that no. was yeah. cool. You are. Cool. Put it this way. <laughs> I, I, this is what I always say. If if the porn industry relied on female subscriptions and women watching porn to sustain itself, it would go bankrupt in a day. Yeah, it would go bankrupt in a day. Yep. Um. Uh, cool. so, so okay that guy goes thanks for the content I have another question do women like long hair man bun or should the guy have short hair bro short why do you hair. like providers hold on, hold on. No. first off why do you care <laughs> nigga this is your hair bro rock it how you want to rock it like, we, we like providers ask, we, okay. we like bank accounts if you are that guy, <laughs> but yep. or not, nigga, you get in the, the box. Yeah. Yeah. I like long hair. It's the truth. Long right. locks. Who else likes long hair? Sorry, I mom. like both. That I like depends. short. I like yeah, buns and short curly hair. It's cute. Okay, depends on the hair. Uh, it depends on the guy. No, no, not it depends on, on you. Yeah. You're the man, bro. Depends no, on you. Depends on what suits you. It has to but suit like, you. You can like whatever you want. It just has to suit you as a person. But like, don't get me wrong. A nice tape is good. All right. Okay, yeah. Mo. Uh, Dixie Normus goes, oh, I see what you did there. Table. Oh, my God. Uh, With folks saying it lo- out loud, think of the number of bodies you have. Now, if you have a daughter, would you be proud if she had the same amount of bodies at the same age you are now? Oh, not a bad question. Funny. Would you what be proud threes? if your daughter had the same amount of bodies that you do now? You would? Yeah. Yeah. At 27, at 27 yes. Yes, 100%. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, it's her. Yeah, so yes. nigga, they're going to all gonna say, yeah. yeah, come on, man. Yeah, you gotta think better with these questions. Gotta catch him up. Uh, that's funny. Old Spice is delusional as fuck, man. <laughs> Old Spice. They it's okay. Old Spice. Delulu and tell Cholulu. Emiliano goes, uh, ladies, what is the best advice you ever given to someone? FNF is doing God's work. You are the best podcast in the world so far in changing and saving lives. Saving lives. Anyway, Chris is still a bum. This is true. Uh, what's the best advice you were you ever gave? He said, nigga, that's you, oh, you were ever given. To, no, you ever given to someone? Yeah, best advice they ever gave to somebody? 
That's dog shit advice. Are, are we gonna go around and answer? Yeah. Nah, I mean, nah, bro. It's quite long. Okay. The advice is shitty. Uh, Chris <laughs> Lancaster says, in the workforce, your boss is likely to be a man. Follow the man you choose, or follow the man that's your boss. What? What would you choose? I would, would rather you follow, follow your man or your boss. My I man. follow the boss. The boss? Yeah, my man. No, my oh, man. My the man. Boss. What about you? My man. Who would you follow? My husband. My Let's man. switch that. My your husband. man. Who you follow? Husband. Husband. So, yeah. My man. Husband. My husband, of course. <laughs> because if he leaves, there's re depends. repercussions. So it depends. Why? It depends who's more clever. <laughs> <laughs> so you well, don't I want to marry you someone that's more clever. You're a little deviant, aren't you? You're a little deviant, aren't you? Bumbaka! <laughs> 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 oh. Oh. She said she liked long hair? So yeah. like, right? Yeah. Long, long hair? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bumbaka! Yeah. 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 Give us a little wink, give us a little wink. Who's more clever? That's a good one, man. All right. Okay. Okay, uh, Chris. Oh no, we got that one. Done. Yeah, we're. Oh, good. Okay. Um, do you have anything else? No. We're trying to let's get last thoughts from yeah. the ladies. Yeah. Because we got to close this thing out. Um, all right. Last thoughts, last questions, disagreements, or with anything we might have said or whatever it may be. For you, we'll start with you. Um, I. How's the show for you? I yeah. loved it. Honestly, I. This was a. This was very refreshing of a podcast, and I was very scared. But I really appreciate everyone that's here, and you guys ha are very professional. Like you're on your boss shit, and I appreciate it. All right. Question no questions for, or disagreements or question anything question like that. I mean, I have disagreements, of course, but like that's life. What do you disagree with? Yeah. The most? What do you disagree with? No, I mean you have to coexist in life. So. But what do you? Girl, this is for content. Yeah, this is for content. Oh, you just go to fifty fifty. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Like but you agree with it in the same sense. Yeah, in the same sense. <laughs> so you don't disagree with it, so it's kind of confusing. I mean... It's like you agree, but you disagree. I only agree with the pregnancy. That's it. Okay, but... You gotta look at the whole picture. I don't want to get into it. You, you, you can't okay, just get pregnant this. and go you, right yeah, back to work. Yeah, you don't get that. You that's not no, like, I don't that's get not that realistic. part. That's I honestly, Lulu. truly don't understand that part because I've never lived it, so... Well, okay. you gotta think about it because you're going to have to think about it until I get a ring. Listen, my only question is... Is my nigga Mo gonna hit? Mo has to take me to dinner first. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, he, he has to do more. Two hundred dollars. Oh, oh. Also, we're not splitting the tab. <laughs> oh, but you're into oh, fifty oh, fifty. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Not for the first day. Not for the first day. Okay, yeah, you, you don't know what man, you want. Man, you selectively want 50-50, man. You're on some bullshit, man. You can't change that up. My friend... So I'm saying, never listen to what women say, man. Yeah, I'll be yeah, lying. Really? By the way, <laughs> you're in luck, because we're getting food right now. So. Yeah, we are. That's so dinner. yeah, there you go. Oh, what about hey, you? Oh, I'm hungry. Oh, I'm oh, hungry. Oh, oh, Mo, Mo got it, yeah. Bum All right, God. what about you? Wait, what was the question again? I, I... Oh, we talked about the bill. Chris gone. <laughs> oh, that's all that shit? Yeah, he's gone, bro. He gone, bro. We talked about the bill. He gone. Transmission. All right, what about you? Okay, how was the show for you? Questions, comments, fun. questions, disagreements, anything? I don't know. I'll keep, no, I'm okay. <laughs> I'll Fantastic. keep them to myself. <laughs> Yo, you... so I'm telling cute. you, nonchalant as fuck. Okay, what about you? It was interesting. It was interesting. Can you think of two more countries? We got Italy. We got all of them. We got Italy. We got Italy. We got Colombia. All right, fantastic. What about you? Well, I just want to like just my last thoughts for you is just make sure you really know what you want because if you're saying you want fifty fifty, then that's why I'm saying you're gonna find a guy who's actually standing on business and is like, you're nine months pregnant. I still need half of the rent. Yeah, no. Honestly, I'm not gonna find anyone like that unless it's Mo. So you know, but Mo, I feel like is more a provider. I got respect for so Mo. So just make sure you know what you want so you don't yeah. get a Wendy's 4 for 4 anymore. Yeah, you know? no. Make sure you, you know what you want. You need want. to set standards. Set standards. You can be the yeah. loop for a little bit if you want, but you need to set those standards. Because the moment you get pregnant, everything goes out the window. And yeah. you have to, I know you're Damn. not pregnant now, but you have to think about that stuff yeah. and like who you want to be when you get pregnant yeah. with because like you, that's who you're next to. Wait, that's you're who you're right. building this Wait, with. she's talking? <laughs> what? No, she's so right. She's speaking facts over here. Thank you. For Wait, that. were you disagreeing? What? No, he said she's talking because you're nonchalant. Oh. Oh. And a hole. And a hole. That just went over your head. So I just want to just make sure, you know, According don't fresh. say you want 50 50 because the guy's going to stand on that. And he's going to say, well, you want it 50 50. 
I don't care if you're sick in the hospital. Pay pay half of these bills. You're right. That's why you have to. Yeah, you have to be really like specific Make with what sure. you want. You cannot tell a man no. Don't get me that. That's too much. Yeah, you're just turning I'll, I'll down split what the bill. he's doing he's for stand you. On that. Your he's birthday, gonna, you're, he's gonna birthday remember dinner. that men are smart. Women yeah. like to say men are stupid. Men are not. Stupid. They love a discount. They are very woman. smart. They, they love a discount. They love what's free. They yeah. love what's easy. They love men they, are about the chase. If you want to split the bill, they will split it. They will fuck. They don't give a fuck. They will split it happily. They don't care. Use that next money for the the next girl, the other half. For so the, just the next date. Accept it. Accept it. Let them treat you like you should be treated. There's no reason. There's Above no reason. and beyond. Yeah. Five dollars next. Two hundred minimum. Five dollars next is crazy. <laughs> well, you know what? No, I think I think this is interesting for the audience to hear. You guys are hearing a bunch of women talk to each other, and this is a lot of the time the conversation. Hey, what do you mean fifty fifty? He better pay for everything. Like what? What are you doing? Like he's a brokey. Blah blah blah. <sighs> So that's I kind of wanted to let them not, talk so you guys broke. can hear it. Yeah. Yeah, you don't want to It's not even brokey. about them being broke. It's just you're not going to be able to afford a simple dinner for us. How are you supposed to put But it's more than mo- just money. Like yeah. it, if you're broke like, it means you're bum. You're not yeah. trying you're not doing anything. I need anything somebody with your life. that's going to put Exactly food on what the I was just saying. So yes, so this is how women and talk about men. Y'all just heard it. You can't just say I want to build. He has to be the right building partner, Yeah, no. You can't like you don't have to be with the rich or the richest man, but you need to build with somebody. That's something you have to grow with somebody consistently. Yeah. You cannot say, oh, we're building and it's only one of you growing. Yeah. You Translation, you build and she's together. there to help you. I don't know. <laughs> I've definitely want. seen relationships where I've seen like the man and the woman build each other and not just like support morally. Like, no, people build businesses together and they grow something and they make something out of it together. But you have to be with like somebody who's on the same grind. You can't just fucking. Yeah. You can't be wanting something that somebody else wants to stay in bed. You can't be. You're not doing anything. You're not growing with that. Okay. You're not growing. Things. Yo, you know what I hear, uh, Mo? What? My dog taking a shit. <laughs> What? What? No shit advice. Yeah, oh, oh, okay. okay. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I mean, I, I see what you're saying, but it starts with the guy. Because if, if the guy isn't that dude, yeah, exactly. then you can't do nothing. Like, yeah, so what's the correct way to do it for you, know? you uh, fresh? Because hmm? you're laughing, so what's the correct way to do yeah, it? Don't do business with women, personally. I think you should only do business with men. I agree, yeah. Because Asagi, doing business Asagi. with women fucks you up, and women just don't have the same... And financial incentives to be successful because a woman's value is not tied to her. What if you're married? Socioeconomic status, huh? It's what if you're married? Can you go on a business? She if can you're help married? me. She can help me, but I mean, at the end of the day, she's not going to have like no real authority in the Netflix. business. Mm-hmm. You know, I think she should help, like make things a little bit easier. But honestly, that kind of reminds me of my parents because my dad literally went to the school because some man told my mom, "Oh, you're a female. Like they're not going to take you seriously. You need a man in this business." Well, yeah, so that's, that's a smart That's kind of true. Yeah, yeah. smart. It's kind of true. The, the reason why... It, 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 the thing is, man, is that most entrepreneurs, Asagi. most wealthy people, they're men for a reason. And the reason why is because men have an incentive to go out there and produce because we know that our sexual market value is based on what we provide. Women, on the other hand, your sexual market value is not based on that. So that's why girls can be broke and still find a guy. Yeah. I mean, let me ask you all a question. Would you rather be rich and ugly or pretty and poor? Pretty and rich poor. Rich and ugly. Okay. Would you rather be pretty and poor or rich I mean, and ugly? Pretty and poor. As a female. I mean, bro. Geez. How ugly are we talking about? Bro. Like, like, like oh, ugly, wait. like, like, you like nobody. You're not going to be able to get a date. Lie. Like, it's going to be tough. Like overweight. Uh, and you're old. Oh. Ugly and rich or That's pretty and poor? Okay, pretty and poor. Okay. What do you? Pretty and poor. Ugly and rich. Your looks will fade regardless. Yeah. Well, come on, man. Okay. What about you? Um, I would rather be ugly and rich. As a female? Yes, because I think it's true as as a female. As a woman, yeah. Why would I do that? You'll never get a man. You're going to be single then. I mean, you won't be able to find a guy. You won't be able to find a guy. I think pretty pretty important, to be honest. What about you? Rich, ugly. (laughs) Wait, question. (laughs) If I'm ugly and rich, is Mo still going to holla? No. Uh, <laughs> okay, so, so you're pretty important. But, 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 but the point is, the point is, when I ask this question, right? When I ask this question to women, most of them say pretty and poor. But if I ask this question to men, what are they gonna say? Okay. Okay. Rich and ugly. Yeah. That's the difference between men and women. Oh, man, but, but you can, but you can get girls hey, rich and fresh. ugly. As a I mean, guy, that's the point. Of time. Yeah, that's true. That's Shut what I'm trying to say. Yeah, so true. men have an incentive to work harder. That's why I don't personally do business with women because I don't. They don't have the same mindset with like earning resources. What about a masculine? Um, woman like her, oh, her, her, even no, worse. her mindset. Even worse, they're a annoying. Lesbian. Why are they no, annoying? no, 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 no. I mean, like a masculine woman, like she thinks like a man. 
Yeah, no. even worse. Those I girls mean, are annoying. Oh. I just mean men and women argue in normal relationships. I'm not adding business to that. Yeah, hell no, bro. Oh my goodness. I mean, okay. Uh, what about you? Masculine women are annoying to be around, bro. Yeah, like fine. it's terrible. <laughs> uh, sorry. Do you, did you have anything else to add to that question? Disagreement? Anything like that? No. Oh no, I was okay. just saying. Yeah. Hey y'all. Right. Sorry, your turn. Go ahead. <laughs> I think at the age we all are kind of out. We're all kind of young. We just need to know our standards because. We need to set them. We need to oh, stand on ticking. <laughs> Time is ticking. All right, what's your standard? How much does the guy got to make for you? Per, it's not per necessarily minimum? a money thing. It's uh, are are you going to be able to not only provide, not in just like a financial way, but help take care of a family, help raise kids? That's financial. Know? So my question is, how much does he got to make for you, bare minimum, a year? I don't know, maybe like 100000 100000 Okay. How tall has he got to be? I don't care about height. Ooh. At all? No. He could be 5'1"? That's fine. No, that's cap. Interesting. Okay. No, she's actually, like, she's really, like, real, like, she's honest with that. No, she's, she's real not, with it. Bro, but no, it's... she's not. How would you know? Does yeah, no, I'm telling you, know. you, I because know Because you're single. Pull up the calculator, Chris. Yeah, I just got out of you a relationship. Sh- God damn, I would show you her ex, but I can't do her like that. Bro, she's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Because then he'll go to jail, so. Oh, no, no. Yeah, he'll go to jail. Oh, oh, Maria. Yeah, he won't go to jail. Don't show him. Oh, my God. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Bro, she is single as fuck, man. Uh yeah, bring up the calculator just out of curiosity. Okay, uh, what about you? Any? Um, I honestly. Oh no, sorry. Did you have anything else, or that was it? No. Okay. Oh, I thought the conversation was more nuanced than I thought it would be. To be honest, so. What did you want to talk about then? Oh no, nuance means that it was like. Oh okay, equal, more detailed. Balanced. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so I thought that was quite balanced, and my last thoughts is you know. Love and peace. That's all I have to say. So it was nice being stupid. here. Stupid. Yes. Fantastic. <laughs> Thank you for that. Why would you say stupid? Uh-huh. Yeah, why? Why is that? Why is that? He's always so me. quiet about his smirkiness. All right. Uh, let's real you quick. What, what's the minimum age for you that he's got to be? Me. Yeah, in the corner. Me. Yeah, Miss. Yeah. Oh, you just skipped high school. Um, yeah. I usually like uh like older <laughs> men, so maybe like twenty. Five to thirty. Okay, yeah, we can age. tell. Yeah, we can tell. Oh my God! You're the line of niggas, man. Put him no, in jail. That's cr- that's, that's scary, yeah, that's bro. wild, actually, bro. Yeah, I ain't scary. gonna lie. Uh, you you said minimum. What's the minimum height he's got to be? But five foot. Oh, five foot, really? Five, but I'm not picky. Yeah. So you, you can be shorter than you then. That's fine. Okay, race. I'm not picky. Anything? Any of them? Yes, oh. any. Asian? Are you like black guys? Like shrimp. A- shrimp. What, is the <laughs> what do you mean? Uh, she wants hundred thousand a year. It's, it's not a. It's not about the money. If we get along and you're willing to provide the criteria that I want for a family, that's fine. Okay. So looks don't matter to you at all, then? Not necessarily. If I like okay. you and we get along, that's fine. Uh, shut the fresh. Okay. Uh, education level? Do you? Do, what do you? Bare minimum education? Uh, at least high school. At least. Well, uh, if he's making a hundred k. Wouldn't he? And he's a bachelor's. Not no. no. I have to go to school like, to make yeah. money. I know I plenty of people. On, on average, he's probably gonna have a bachelor's. All right. Can I he mean, be obese? No. So I don't. No. I don't respect. Thank you, Chris. I don't, I don't respect. <laughs> sorry, Chris. Oh, no. Go ahead. Oh, okay. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. Sorry, Chris and Mo. All right. Can he be married? Canceled. No. <laughs> why? Why okay. would I be married with him if? All right. Maybe you'll be a second wife. I don't know. All right. Exclude married then. All right, let's fight. Let's see. Oh, you uh, mean like he's already divorced and everything, and I'm moving on? No, he's on. married. Yeah, he's oh, no. married. Okay. No. Okay. God right. no. Let's see what what her guy uh, comes out at. Um, let's see here. The percentage of men that meet your requirements are okay. So uh, about two percent of men. So you scored four out of five cat bags. Um, so yeah, the likelihood of you finding that guy, even with the lower standards, is fairly. But where high. is this located? Well, well, I feel like this? it depends on cities. This is based. On the United in the United States, based on the National Health Survey, um, the U.S. Census Bureau, and then what was the other one? I'm not Aunt marrying Risa? somebody below like what my parents. Do. Uh, yeah, National Health that. and Nutrition Examination Survey, uh, and the CDC and the U.S. Census Bureau. But like for different cities, like here in Miami, it's a little different, and in, in LA, in New York, I mean, most men still, have to that's, make hundred. That, that's still still rare to find. They're everywhere. Yeah. Well, what website was They're that? not as everywhere as you guys think they are. Well, to me. <laughs> what website yeah, where was we that? are. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then, then here's the other thing. You got to remember, okay, you meet the guy, you find a guy. What makes you think he's going to pick you over other women? That's true. How do you stand out? I'm not, I told you, I'm average. I don't think I stand out. I'm, but you want a well above average guy. Yeah, because I can. I have, I have. What? Guys up, like around that caliber. For sex, no more lies, right? No, it's oh not God. for sex. I don't just open my legs. That devalues uh, you as a woman. I mean, you're still single, though. Yeah, because I just got out of a relationship. But once again, but, so you think but someone I'm that 18, embraces I'm young? 
I just got out of a relationship. I have a lot of learning to do for not only myself, but what I want in a partner. So you think someone that embraces their em- yeah, sexuality? Yeah, learn to do, like, not putting dudes in jail. Goddamn, yeah, bro. Like, wait, yeah. but do you think <laughs> someone that embraces their sexuality that devalues them as a woman? Oh, Very shit. much. If, if, you, you're, if you're just around, sleeping around, that's disgusting. That as disgusting. a woman, bro, that's disgusting. Bro, Chad, as she, a woman she has crazy this eyes, bro. young. 18 going on 30. Crazy you, eyes, you, disagree, bro. you disagree with that? I mean, I you do you, boo. Okay. Um, in terms of women or men? I think in terms also, of everyone. I think also for women, that really places where your value is. Yes. Well, I mean, I'm woman, not doing it, but I'm saying I'm not going to stop 17. you from doing what you want to do. Well, I'm 17. not saying Bro. 17. Yo, I that never, is fucked who, up, man. Who said 17? How are you going to promote to whores? We, you know, whore yourself. <laughs> because, like, I support all people. Yeah, you can support them, but it's so not the way to people. live. Mo, right? It's not Mo. a lifestyle I would yeah. choose to Mo, live if at you're all. Going to at so all. you don't think? So you bro, think OnlyFans you. is devaluing? Very yes. much so. Oh my you're god! Oh my god! god. Yes. 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 You're opening your legs. No, I can't even open your legs on there. I can see you for four dollars. It's literally just like your boyfriend. I can pay four dollars. Literally, I'm not saying that I do that. And sex that's what only fans do. Not everyone does only fans. That's what only fans is. That's what only fans is. People do gay men. Alright, look, 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 look. You guys just yelling at each other. Go ahead and say why you think it's not that big of a deal, and then she can respond. I don't think it's a big deal because I don't think. Look, you're not. You're not someone that can put. Who Who's to say that you're right? Me. And obviously, it shows by the type of men that you're with. Okay, first of all, how many fucking times do I have to say that I was 24, 25? 24, 25? Your brain is fully developed. Your 25, your brain is fully developed. You're grown. You're a woman. Grow up. It was my first boyfriend. At 25? At 25? Yes, at 25. No, that's really and you had 17 bodies no, prior? No, that was oh, a lie. Shit. That was a lie. But that's oh. what I'm saying. Our, our lifestyles will never line up. I well, have you're tradition. 18, you're a jit-jit. Like, oh, and oh, so baby. baby. Yeah. And she guess what? A I, and I have, a, I have a man who would buy me Ben Clee. I would I make 100K a year. Like, I would hope so. You're almost 30. You're almost 30. I'm still Cool. Cool. cool, I graduated. Like tw- 10 years ago, and you're only no, making 100 in grad K? school. What is $100,000? Do you have an SF90? Yeah, Do you have a Bugatti? Like, 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 I don't care. Oh, that doesn't shit. impress me. Materialistic things Cocoon. don't matter, bro. You, you, what kind of house do you have? Yeah. I have a town home. 500K. Wow, that's so impressive. Cool. You, what's, what's I the don't live to please Florida? you, bro. But that's I what I'm don't saying. live to please you. I, I, your, your standards oh, are you. low. Your, your shit, standards though. are low. Like, you're, no, it's not. I literally pay a fucking mortgage. Hey, Congrats. A bit. <laughs> Congratulations. Is Congrats. That, that's that's saying, like, but that's high to you. Yeah, I it is high to me because my last parents year what I did, I was literally else. living with my parents last year. Now I pay a mortgage. Uh, that's disappointing that you're almost 30 living with your parents. I wasn't. My you dad said you were living with your parents. My dad. Yeah. My dad invited me. He said, until sorry. you're married, you, you can it. live with me. And you want that. <laughs> so I'm sorry he has not... traditions. Oh, so traditional. Seven yeah, fucking he's bodies. southern, bro. And I, that was a lie. How many times do I have to fucking tell you but that? Why so would why would you, you say that? Yeah, because it was a lie. There's going to be clips of you well, saying you had 17 bodies. Well, I don't care, bro. This is well, the first of husband, podcast. Yeah. Yeah. You think I'm going to find my husband on this No, your husband will see this. He will. It doesn't matter, Guess what? He's going to hit you with a 50-50. He's going to hit you with a 50-50. He's going to hit you with a 50-50. Looking you know, you know, yeah. you know what he's gonna say? He's gonna be like, what? why would I spend more than $4 you think if somebody you know else can get something? You don't know me, bro. You just said that you, you open your legs with this guy. Like, like, you don't know me. Oh, I know you thought you were doing something with the name. She doesn't know me. Maybe, maybe you need to catch up to this guy because your standards are down. Yeah. You're worse than an escort. I feel like you're worse than an escort. At least you're worse. Oh, shit. Like, he can go to jail. Is that fake Cartier? Because no way you're driving Uber with fake Cartier. You can go to jail for that. I can go to jail. I can do anything. But, like, actually, is that fake Cartier? Maybe. So, so you said you're not about materialistic things, I'm but not. you buy bike, you buy fake shit to try to impress who? Oh, I'm not. I'm, sure. I'm don't impress anyone. Some lifestyle. Live, you're making a hundred thousand dollars. What is that? Almost twenty percent of your I don't income. Live to That's please embarrassing. People. No, That's it's not twenty percent of my income. Almost. I said almost. Well, good. You think you know people? You don't. I'm not saying I know you, but I know your but standards. But we know you. No, you don't fucking know my standards. Bro. She's going to have a 
based on what you ever yeah. 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 This yeah. is yeah. what you have yeah. led people to believe of you. A has more standards than you, because at least she knows her worth. Oh. Well, good for you, Renee, and good for you, Scott. Jasmine doesn't know her standards. I guess Jasmine hasn't met her Aladdin yet. It's okay. You won't meet him if you're angry. I don't want to meet him yet. I have things to do. But now you cannot like, have those expectations that you want about high value men after living like that. I don't care about any of that. I don't care about any of that. So you don't want to be married. You don't want to have a family. No, no, I do. You just do. want to take care of yourself. But you just literally... admitted that you opened your oh legs for God. zero for free. I never said that. You said that about me. But you, mama, you admitted you just, to that. Ma, don't call me mama because that's degrading. But I never I said that. Because it's degrading. How? Explain. Because I don't Explain. like it. I don't like it. Why? Because I don't. Is it derogatory? I don't like it. I just don't like it. You Sucks. Welcome to, to the real world. I don't like a lot of things. Cool, sis. Like, I don't care. <laughs> you just need to raise your standards because well, I feel cool. like escorts yeah, I do. have more worth. But I don't... <laughs> like, they really do. I don't do. think they're trying to tell you that in a bad way. I don't think that's what they're trying to tell you that in a bad way. I don't think you can compare... First of all, I have no... I was sheltered. I have no experience with that. That's sheltered and you think $100,000 is a lot of money? Please. No, it's not a lot of money. That's like $100. That's like... How are you making a hundred k driving Uber? I don't understand. Yeah, what? No, that's not the only thing I do. So I you used drive, to be an art teacher. And you have you, a bachelor's? You're making 100 k with yes, an art teacher. Yes, I have teacher. a bachelor's. BFI and you're Marvel. driving Uber? That... I, I literally started last week. I do it for fun. Oh, OK. Delusional. <laughs> Delulu tells Chululu, bitch. Just, Chululu just is that Cartier, standard. right? Yeah. Can we finish off with the last thoughts? Yeah, I'm done. Yeah, we, I'm yeah. good. I said peace and love, no, guys. No, but I don't think. And everyone laughed at me. No, I need I'm peace good. and love. Because I feel like I was it's just like talking. It's her turn to talk. Oh. It's really opened my eyes. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's good. I'm glad. I'm Me glad. too. I'm glad. I'm right here. I'm glad this opened your eyes. All right. Uh, that was a fun... Uh, shout out to the girls, man. Dr. Marco. That was not fun. Yeah, Marco, Marco. No fish was being thrown. Um, I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> No, 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 fist, fist. I think fist, we stab fist, each fist. other with our words instead. No, oh, I mean, you, you, you admitted to all of it. You're putting hey, together. Listen, I'm like, you admitted to all of this. Like, you, what do you, you I opened didn't, your what mouth. What did I admit to? I you admitted, admitted to, to sleeping dollars. with a guy for $4. For $4. Okay. I didn't sleep with him because of that. Let's wrap it up. Like, Yo. Oh, my God, that's so funny. Is that your Chinese so funny? That's so funny. Yeah, I'm not going to lie, bro. I had to walk away for a little bit. That was crazy. Um... But yeah, this was a great show. I think uh, we covered a lot of points here. Me and Myron were definitely enjoying your de debate and debacle. What's yeah, going on yeah, here? Yeah, uh, Sky roasted your ass. I'm not gonna lie. I don't <laughs> um, care. 18 she doesn't strong. pay money. But, come up bro. crying, which is. I don't have to because my parents aren't poor. I'm in school. Cool. My parents provided shit for me too. Like yeah, your privilege. Uber. Cool. Okay. Yeah, because well, yeah, my, my daddy worked harder. I'm sorry. Sucks. Do you want a cookie? Do you want a cookie? I think you do. You're saying I have privilege. I don't like cookies. I don't have a sweet tooth like you. It'd be like that. Cool. You guys in high school? <laughs> this is hilarious. Um, okay, this was a great show, guys. Um, I think we covered a lot here, especially uh, between ladies. And uh, yeah, oh, man. All let right, me, let me show. Uh, uh, guys, show. we'll be back on uh, on Wednesday. Um, yeah. Do we? Uh, did we get your last thoughts? Yeah, sure. Uh, yeah. Last oh, okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed the show. Uh, I didn't have to do that much moderating. They yeah, just argued good. the whole time. It, it was That's a pretty crazy. good show. Uh, what do we got here? Aussie Bogan. Aussie goes. Uh, sub fresh and fit. Have you guys sussed out the GT uh, GTA Six trailer yet? Because it's Miami. Oh, Thoughts yeah. on a Florida Miami rep, um, bro? It's not gonna come out for two years, man. Yeah. So <laughs> I, 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 I reserve my Same. thought until it actually comes out. Yeah. Um, um, but other than that, yeah, I think we'll be back on Wednesday. Uh, Wait, oh, one more. Wednesdays, super chat. Maybe? One more. We got one more rumble right here as well. Oh, one more. Okay. Uh, what the fuck? LOL. What? Why? Why that Oreo ass Q-tip head so confident? Ugly as fuck. And most black men don't even want black women because they act like they're like her and worse. Well, God like, damn, nigga. What is That's that me. Damn? It's delusion, baby. Okay. Mm. Uh, we're caught up, right? Oreo. Yes. All right, guys. We'll be back on Wednesday uh, for a Red Pill Wednesday, man. We'll have a topic for y'all. And then obviously after ours, hope you guys enjoyed the show. Catch you on the next one. Peace. Peace.